everyone, it's me, Xcadenzis. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll-related videos almost every single day, and today's video is going to be a P.O. box haul or mail from you unboxing or whatever I end up titling it. And um, if you don't know, I have a public mailbox. It's listed in my channel bio. I don't put it in the descriptions of the videos in case something changes, but anybody can send me anything they want, and I will open it on camera. And today's video is one of those. It's been a minute since my last one and it's just because my life has been really like a giant whirlwind. You may have noticed that I have not uploaded every single day recently, specifically in the past like two months. I've missed a lot of days. There's a lot going on but I'm really excited to be able to sit down and do this. I always really love doing these videos. I feel like they're the best ones for like really connecting with you guys and I think you guys enjoy them too. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first package is this one and I've already cut it open so that the beginning of the video would be a little smooth. Oh, oops, there's something falling out of it. Okay, so don't see a note or anything. Not that when I say I don't see a note, I'm just saying like, um, like I'm not missing anything because anyway, so it looks like there's a doll in here. Oh my gosh, how cute. Oh, it's hip to be square Bart. There's four of them. I didn't know. I didn't know about this variant. Oh my gosh, Miss Orange is really pretty. Whoa. Oh, and I didn't know they came with these cute little purses either. Oh my gosh, this is so cool to have in a box. So this is Hip to Be Square Barbie. I really like the Hip to Be Square line. I think it's really cute. I thought I had the full line, so that's actually hilarious. Um, but thank you, whoever sent this one. Um, she was just in a little mailer, I, but she's really, really cool. I've I've been like peppering in little new in box Barbies. Sometimes I end up opening them because I don't end up liking them how they look on display. But I think this one's gonna be really cool on display. I love this packaging design. Like, look at this like modern. It's really, really fun. Hip to be square is just a really awesome line. And thank you so much to whoever sent this one. I really appreciate it. Um, whoa. Oh, look, the bottom was like blank. I was like, where is the UPC? But it's there. Okay. God, her hair looks so soft. <laughs> when you unbox a doll like a Barbie doll from this era they either have Kanekwon or Saran always and like the hair is just magnificent when you first get it out of there like um teen skipper too perfect okay <laughs> thank you so much so there's this little package here um and this one was from back to soul and I know you and um the box is a pop mart box and I know that you um, collect Pop Mart stuff, but um, I don't know if this, I mean, it seems like this was sent directly from them, so. Oh my god! <gasps> Look at these! It's the My Little Pony Pop Mart! Whoa, okay. Oh, is there another series that I didn't know about? Oh, cool, okay, so we've got, I think this is the one that I had known about, no? Maybe. These are so cool. It is so cool that G4 My Little Pony's popularity, like, transcends enough that like even a company in China can still be making merch for it and it still succeeds. Oh my gosh. So I have one from each of the Pop Mart My Little Pony lines. I, there's probably more. I haven't done a whole lot of research on these um, So because I didn't want to have to buy them anytime soon. So this is exciting. So if I end up really liking them, um, I can get them. Not that I didn't want to have to buy them, but like I knew that I would be like, I need those, I need those, I need those. So I was going to wait until I did research on them. Oh my gosh. But this is a perfect way to like stop myself a little bit until later on oh my gosh okay so we have the my little pony natural series i'm actually about to do a huge like blind box unboxing video so these will be perfect for that um i don't know how many blind boxes i'm going to include but currently i have like 75 planned so <laughs> not it, it's related to that japan video i just did with the gashapon balls those will be in it that's like 50 of them and then i have a bunch more that i've just been holding on to so i think that'll be a fun video and these would be perfect for that um and then we have a leisure afternoon one these are so I am really excited to see who's in here. I want to make my predictions now, or like my best. Okay, so Cherry Blossom, Fluttershy. Okay, both of the Fluttershy's actually. And Crystal Rarity. There's only one Rarity? <gasps> and only one Twilight. Interesting. And then of course the secret would be cool. That looks like Celestia. Okay. So, okay, I like Pearl. I like all of them. Whatever. Gem Rarity is probably the best one. And then in here we have... I think Colorful Macaroons. Um, this It's probably the best one. Okay, so thank you so, so much, Back to Soul. I'm so excited to check these out. And by the way, this year you guys have been seeing a lot of videos of like different Chinese like blind box toys, especially the BJDs. You guys can blame Back to Soul. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> and I appreciate it. I love them so much. Thank you so much. Okay, so next we have a card. Um, so I keep doing this thing where I'm like, I'm just going to read your information. Why would I do that? No. Okay. All right. We have a letter 
So this next one is a letter and it says, Hi Brooke, I go by Sirius, she, they. Feel free to read this on camera for a fan mail video if you'd like. I recently became interested in learning about collecting during January of this year and I've just found your YouTube channel. I think it's awesome that you're a museum collector's manager. I wish you the best in becoming a museum curator. Ooh, someday, maybe. <laughs> um, it's great that you're able to enjoy your collection in ways related to your expertise and talents in other areas along with sentimental values of each edition. The amount of knowledge that you have and share about collecting and the items within is just incredible and it has opened my eyes to a whole side of these hobbies that I didn't know existed before. That the way that you curate your own collection to be a form of your own personal doll museum is such a creative display and I love hearing you talk about everything within it. Thank you. Um, Stay tuned for uh, the curating stuff in like a new and unique way based on my job because um, at the end of this video I'm going to be giving you guys a little like a, an extended sneak peek of the um, doll database website doll act that me and a team of people have been working on but um, I'm really really excited about it it's going to be coming soon so um, since these videos are you know subscriber videos y'all are the ones that watch it uh, I thought it would be fun to shut that off in this video. Um, I don't consider myself an active collector, but I currently display two dolls on my bedroom shelf as a testament to what they looked like when I was a kid, receiving my first one um, in comparison to how they've changed in our current era of dolls. One of my dolls is a 2002 Rio de, de Janeiro Leah Barbie dressed in a custom sewn shirt and black pants to still fit a nautical theme. The other one is a 2020 Barbie looks doll with the kit face mold. Oh, I wish I knew the face molds, <laughs> uh, but I know that 2020 probably was the first wave of them. Um, was my first Barbie doll as a, oh, the Leo was my, sorry, the kit face mold redressed in loungewear for a more casual tone. I'll have to Google which one that is later. Um, the Leo was my first Barbie doll as a Christmas gift from one of my family members when I was about four years old and it became my favorite toy as a kid. The Barbie looks doll is very striking to me as her hair slightly resembles my own and I myself am quite short standing at only about 5'2". Wow. That is pretty short. Um, my closest cousin bonded with me through many games and sleepovers when we were kids, where we made up many scenarios for my dolls. Most of them surely involved many perilous situations for them. My, our favorite scenarios often played out with, have you seen a Thousand Splendid Dolls channel, by the way? You would love the, them, oh my gosh. Um, Cause they show, they talk about their like favorite scenarios when they were kids and stuff. And I'm like, wow. Cause I remember some of mine, but not a whole lot. Um, and not with dolls. Cause I didn't really play with them that much. Um, cause my brother wouldn't play with them with me, which fair. <laughs> okay. Our favorite scenarios often played out with our Barbies trying to escape from the custody of an evil guardian and her menace of a daughter. Oh my gosh. That's so cool that you still have the memories with the dolls that you had as a kid. That's so sweet. Um, although we never read the book series, it's funny to look back at it now and see how similar it is to the series, the premise of a series of unfortunate events without the finesse of David, Daniel Handler's writing. Yeah. I, I like wrote a novel and I was very proud of it. I wrote like a multi-book series and it's fully just Watership Down, which I had never read or seen. I must have heard about it somewhere because it's about rabbits. It's just warriors, cats with rabbits. I was super creative and original. Not that I'd read warriors at the time either. I don't know. Still have that book to this day. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> um, I have many positive memories of that part of my life and I've always enjoyed the sort of blank canvas take with Barbie dolls having little more than a name if even when it came to my Barbies that were not the titular blonde haired and blue eyed Barbie. I always liked feeling the freedom we had to make our own lore and names and characterizations for our dolls for every game as kids whether it was with my cousin or with my best friend next door. I miss that because I feel like now that I'm an adult I feel like as an adult I really gravitate towards dolls that and when I started collecting when I was like 12 um, I really gravitated towards characters that were really established because I was like anxious to create my own characters, I guess. Because when I was a kid with my little pet shops, easily, like in seconds, I'd be like, I know exactly who you are just by looking at you. And I feel like over time you gain this like fear and anxiety around that sort of thing, or maybe it's just me, I don't know. Um, so I really gravitate towards like super, oh, I just noticed Frankie's knocked over. Y'all can't see them, so that's fine. <laughs> um, but like with certain dolls, like Barbie dolls, I felt like, I wasn't gravitating towards them because they didn't have super established characters, but I've had a lot of fun again just randomly assigning them character traits and it's something silly always. Like it's something like, oh, I got her at the same time as this other doll, so she must be into this sort of thing. Or like when I got her, she was in the wrong aisle next to this thing, so she's into that sort of thing. It's like, it's fun, but I feel like I, I'm like, like a little bit scared to do it someday. Anyway, I started growing up out of dolls around 10 years old and I had given them 
Oh, and had given them to be donated to the younger kids who lived in my neighborhood when I was around 12 or 13. I hadn't thought about them since then until I started becoming interested in learning about the hobby of dog collecting this year. I knew I'd never appreciate them in a similar way to how I enjoyed them as a kid, but it's nice to find new ways to appreciate them as an adult, such as admiring the artistic work put into them and learning about how collectors enjoy them now. I genuinely don't know what sparked my sudden interest in learning about them, but I'm glad I decided to seek out more about it. I'm so glad you still had your one, like your favorite one. That's so fun. Um, your willingness to give all sorts of dolls a fair shake, specifically your reviews on LOL dolls, has persuaded me to be more open-minded towards types of dolls that I would have written off as silly looking and not worth a shake at all when I was younger. I, I was, when I started collecting when I was around 12, which that's when you got out of them. Um, I wasn't into dolls really as a kid, but I got into it at like around 12 um, because of Monster High. <laughs> it was their fault. Um, but wait, what was I doing? Sorry. Oh, I was really like, very picky i was like i only like monster high i wouldn't deviate i bought like one bratz doll at the time because she came with a wig that i could use on my creative monsters like everything had to relate to monster high in some way and then i did some wink stuff but i would like very much stay put in that and i feel like i missed out on a lot of really cool dolls because i was just like monster high is better monster high is better articulation monster high is better hair but ultimately i found that like i love my monster high dolls don't get me wrong i'm not being like i regret collecting monster high instead but but as i've started collecting the ones that i'd missed out on like novi stars and bratzillas and all these other doll lines i found like i would have loved these so much and i was just being so picky and um with some people like being picky is like the right choice because you only really like one and that's totally fine but with me specifically i felt like i was afraid i guess because i was on like doll forums and doll instagram and stuff at that time and i had kind of picked up on that um the overall consensus on like so if i thought a novi stars doll was cool i really wanted them they were always on my amazon wishlist i always looked at them in the store but i would always just hear that echo in my head like they're bad quality they can't move their legs very well they don't have articulated knees they have like polypropylene hair and i would just avoid them because of that um so I'm really glad that my channel, I, uh, it's just because as a collector now, I just collect everything and that's what makes me the happiest is like having all sorts of different doll lines. Um, and one of my favorite doll lines ever actually is all the Girls, which I had completely disregarded as a, as a teenager, even though I liked them a lot. I thought they were super cool. I really wanted them, but I was like, I collect Monster High and those are way better than all the Girls. And like all the Loopsie Girls are one of my favorites by far now. Like they're one of the best doll lines ever created at closed you know um so i'm really grateful that my channel that's like part of a message that gets taken away from it because that's something that's really important to me as a collector because it's totally fine if you decide like i only like brad's dolls but i like to um have a positive space for other dolls to be included because i found that even adult collectors like when i was collecting cave club and making videos about them uh i would sometimes get comments and dms from people being like i love cave club and i want to collect them but my friends are gonna be mean to me about it uh my doll collector friends and i'm like that makes me really sad because just get what you want. It's for you. <laughs> like, I don't know. Anyway, um, um, I also learned about Rainbow High from you and I'm genuinely surprised that they only began in 2020. It's weird to think about. Like, it's only 2023 and there there's so many dolls and they've improved so much. It's so cool. As a kid, I used to write off the ones with large heads and large eyes because I thought the cartoonish style implied that the creators weren't trying as hard as those created who created more realistic looking heads and faces. And man, I always felt the opposite way, actually. That's cool. And now I'm impressed by the level of detail that is put into their clothing and other features like their accessories and even their packaging. I hope that you're always able to enjoy what you do, whether it's related to dolls or not. Your encouragement towards your audience to be themselves and enjoy their hobby without letting anyone make them feel strange for it is a wonderful touch to your videos and your kindness is inspiring to pass it forward. As someone who doesn't talk about my hobbies to other people often, I'm glad that someone out there is encouraging others to be more comfortable in their own skin and when it comes to their hobbies. I hope that you always feel appreciated by the people in your life and your audience for your admirable attitude and determination. Hope you have a great day and happy collecting. Thank you, Sirius. Oh my gosh. I think you should tell more people about your hobbies. You'd be surprised even if you think they're going to be like, you collect dolls. I, 90% of the people that I've ever told, which is literally everybody I've ever talked to because I can't keep my mouth shut are um very like they're curious they're excited they're supportive obviously gauge the people that you're talking to right if you know someone's just a butthole all the time they don't need to know like it's fine um but I, the biggest thing that i've found is if you're proud of something and you love something and you're really happy about it n most people pick up on that energy and are feel the same way but if you're like oh you found out i've collect dolls don't tell anyone if they're a butthole and a bad person they'll pick up on that too people will just pick up on your energy towards something and if somebody if you're like raving about how happy you are about something and you love something and then someone decides to be a jerk about it then they're just a bad person 
and they don't need to be in your life. Um, but I know that Caesars have been done sometimes, but anyway, thank you so much, Sarah, for your letter. I always love those super long letters that you dig into. It's so much fun. And yeah, I really appreciate it. Um, it, it always makes me really happy to read stuff like that. You're so sweet. Sorry, guys, I had to go away. Thank you so, so much, Sarah. Seriously, um, your letter was so, so sweet. And it means a lot to me to hear or hear, read. I guess I heard myself speaking it. So to hear, um, it's just very affirming because that's the, that's kind of the mission statement. Truly, I'm just here because I like talking about dolls. Um, there's not enough return on investment for it to be like, yeah, it's a business, but it makes me feel special to call it a business. But <laughs> um, it, it's like, it just makes me really, really happy to hear stuff like that because I'm here because I want to talk about dolls and spread like love about them and it, it's really cool that that's what I'm able to do. All right, um, moving on, I have a ne the next package, which looks like this. Sorry, I can't, um, <laughs> there's a tag on the front. So let's see what's inside. Okay, we got, I see, I think I see Madeline Hatter in there. Okay. It says, hi Brooke, my name is Tiffany, and you can say that on camera. I really enjoy watching your videos and I thought you might enjoy these dolls I found at the thrift store. Ooh. That's ominous. I used to collect dolls in my early teens, Monster High, but stopped after a while. I got back into collecting last year because of Rainbow High and the new Monster High dolls. It's so cool to hear that because I feel like back when I started collecting, everybody started collecting because of Monster High. So it's cool to see like which lines are the ones that uh, are the most like, have the biggest draw, I guess, for adult and teen collectors. It's so interesting. Um, but stopped after, oh wait, and the new Monster High dolls. And the new Monster High dolls, let's be clear. The new Monster High dolls are awesome. Um, it's really cool actually that Monster High's done that twice now for people. Then I stumbled across your YouTube channel and became interested in other types of dolls. Thank you for that. <laughs> Two letters in a row about that. Yes! <laughs> it's my agenda. No, I'm kidding. I don't... <laughs> I just, I just think there's so much, like, magic and cool stuff to see in the doll world. And when I was confined... Like, when I got my first Bratz doll... I had a couple of Bratz dolls as a kid, but I didn't really think much of it. Um, but I collected Monster High for so long. When I got my first Bratz dolls, I got them at flea markets. They did not come with all their stuff. I was gobsmacked by how nice they were and how much different they were. And it's not that like, oh, Bratz are better dolls than Monster High. Um, I mean, you can debate about that if you want to, but ultimately it doesn't matter. It's about what people prefer, you know? Um, it doesn't matter if something's the lowest quality thing in the world. If some, if it makes somebody happy, that it's better to them, you know? It doesn't matter. Um, but <laughs> I got my first Bratz dolls, which it was actually Secret Day Megan, funny enough, um, at that time. And I was like, this is such, this is a completely different experience than what I've ever known from the other dolls that I was collecting, which at the time were Winx, Monster High, and some Disney. So it was really, really cool. And that's when I started just opening up completely. And I was like, I want all the weird dolls. I also had Pinky Cooper um, back when they came out. And Pinky Cooper was cool enough that it transcended all of my like standards that I had came up with for myself. Anyway, um, I now collect Monster High, New and Old, Ever After High, Rainbow High, Disney Descendants, Disney Fairies, and the I Love You Dolls. The I Love You Dolls are so good. Also, Disney Fairies. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I really need to make more videos about those. Um, it makes me so happy to see someone else get excited over finding and playing with dolls who is around my age. I don't have any friends who are collectors, so I get a little lonely sometimes. Yeah, I don't... In real... I mean, I have this, but in real life... Maybe someday. <laughs> anyway, the dolls I'm sending you are... Oh, I'm not gonna read that. I'm not gonna read that. Um, all right, wait. Okay, we'll go through this. Wait. Um, all right. At the end of the note, it has a name, which I assume I'm not supposed to share, but there's like a YouTube, but then there's an Instagram that says do not share. So if you want me to share a YouTube, please let me know and I will add it to the description and also maybe a pinned comment depending on what's going on. Um, but I'm not going to read like the end of that note until after we get everything out of here because I won't spoil it. Um, but thank you so, so much. Oh my, and I can say Tiffany. Thank you so, so much, Tiffany. Okay. See what you found at the thrift store. All right. Oh, hello. Okay, so we have Getting Fairest Maddie. I think she has somebody else's hands on, actually. Cute. Oh, she has a really good face, actually. I think mine was pretty wonky, but I might have two, but look how cute she is. Oh my gosh. And she doesn't really... I mean, she has glue in her head. I can feel it, but she doesn't have seepage. Like, it's super, super soft. It throws me off to feel Ever After High Dolls without glue seepage because mine got so bad so fast. She's so cute. Getting Fairest is really underrated, I think. And then we have, oh, hello, fail fix. Oh, you found her at the thrift store? This is the um like special variant that, I think this is the night one, the night variant of Kawaii Cutie. Cute, and I'm pretty sure this is the one I don't have because there, with this doll, um, there's this weird situation where they accidentally stole somebody's art and put it on the shirt. And this is the stolen art version. I think I have the replaced one after they replaced it after talking to the artist. Um, I, I'm not sure what happened. It never really got like a public statement about it, but they did apologize to the artist and there was some kind of agreement between them. Um, but I can't 100% recall if I had the original or the second one. So that 
is really exciting and she's so cute also i love the faces on these i really want to do more with my fell fix dolls i feel like this line is dangerously underrated it's such a beautiful line thank you so much i have so many fell fix dolls and i love them so much and i still somehow don't have every variant like i need to go through and double check because i'm getting close i think i'm only missing two um anyway. oh hello so this is shadow shadow is such an underrated omg i think like i don't really hear people talk about her a whole lot does she have a haircut or am i misremembering how she is use my I know my shadow's over there, but I don't see her right now. My poor OMGs all fell over again. <laughs> uh, but here she is. So, so cute. And then there's like a bunch of accessories in here. So, my hair got stuck on the tape. Okay. I've got a riding helmet. What are these little floaties? I don't know. Are these from like Secret Crush maybe? I think this might be... That <laughs> I said it was a floaty. These are from Secret Crush, I'm pretty sure. Secret Crush is really cool, actually. I think it came out at a horrible time, <laughs> but for like success as a doll line. Oh, hello, there they are. Um, oh, there's, oh, I love Secret Crush. I only have like, I think I have two of them. I love them. Okay, so this one probably goes to her. Oh, this is so cute. My only one, by the way, was from when I worked at Ollie's. There was a store display that had like the, I think she's piggy themed or bear themed or something. Um, she was in it <laughs> and I was like, can I have that to my manager and he was like yeah we're gonna throw away the box so that's that's my secret crush <laughs> oh they're so cute so here is the little donut one and here is a little I guess like icing one I'm not gonna lie to you I saw this and I was like it's I thought it was a pool floaty for a Barbie and I was like what is it is it like poop shaped <laughs> but it makes sense that it's like twisty hair <laughs> um Secret Crush was really cool. Can you imagine? I, I, I Fashion dolls on the brain 24-7. Can you imagine if they had done, like, Secret Crush fashion dolls? Like, while Lucy Girls-esque? Okay. Oh! I figured the other hair was in here. Oh, how cute. Oh, wait. This part. Ooh. Okay, there's a bunch of... Speaking of Secret Crush, I feel like I don't really see them at thrift stores too much, and they're so cool. Okay, so we have a bunch of bags for Barbara's, so... Oh, the bow bag. This is probably my favorite. That's awesome such a sucker for a bow you got bow shoes you got a bow bag you got a bow sold i love them uh super cute and a little guitar little stars on it I'm not sure if this one's barbie or not it's interesting and then i've got a cinema roll bag I'm totally gonna use that okay there's a bunch of stuff in here oh wow okay let me turn the camera around so that we can get in here and see everything all right y'all i have dumped the bag out so that we can check everything out so this is a bunch of doll shoes which is really exciting because they're all like really different from the ones that i have in my little barbie shoes extras area oh my god these leg warmers okay hold on these are glorious oh my god i love these i love these these are spectacular little doll shoes and then i have these cute boots oh my gosh one of them's like or they both have like the tops of the shoes different these are really cute these would actually be really cute for like display in a dollhouse I, these are awesome and then of course, a fanny pack. I love a fanny pack. And then this cute little bag. This is glorious. These are little leg warmers. I really, oh man, they don't have a slit. I might have to cut a slit in those so that I can use them on different dolls. These are really cool. I'm excited to um, come up with an outfit for those. I mean, I'm so like, I have so much anxiety around making like restyles and stuff for some reason. I need to let that go because it's literally just playing with my dolls. <laughs> um, this is really cute. Does anyone know what this one goes to? I love this. That is awesome. And then we have little headphones. We have an itty bitty little purse. Look at this. Almost makes me think this is Bratz, to be honest, but I don't know. And then a little radio, a little like, I think this is one of those headbands for like getting ready in the morning or something. A tiara, love. I think that's probably another little fanny pack. We've got these little black loafer-esque shoes. These are really cute. Got these with little fluff at the ankle. These are awesome. Were these from the thrift store too? And maybe it'll say in the note. Okay, because I didn't read that last part. Little purse, these little pink shoes. Y you guys know I have like a lot of Barbies with no shoes. So these will be, oh, these are really cute. Like look at the little strap. That is so cute. And then these, I've got three of this one. And then these are very simple. Oh, wait. There's like, what are the, are they little bows on there? That's really cute. And then we have a little drink. And that classic like Barbie pink, like see-through plastic. Blue shoes, I like those. And then one of this little platform, oh wait, no, that that's different. Um, what is this? 
I don't know what that is. It's like a big old earring. And then these purples, these see through -y ones. I really like this. Like, this is such a whimsical, dreamy material. Okay, we got another. I don't know what these are. Um, and then we have gold. We have these little itty bitty tennis shoes, these black strappy ones, and then little pink strappy. All right, camera back up. All right, y'all, it's time for the rest of the note. Okay. It says, anyways, the dolls I'm sending you are an OMG doll I found in a bundle, an Ever After High Madeline Hatter Getting Ferris doll. The neck peg has cracks, and the hands seem like they're from a different doll. You noticed it, too. <laughs> I, Getting Ferris Maddie didn't have the gloves, but it, it is a different skin tone. It's very interesting. Um, you can use it for parts. Um, I don't, I'm fucking getting really lucky, actually, with Ever After High, but she'll be good for, like, someday. I'll probably have an issue with that. Um, a Failfix Kawaii Cutie doll and some Secret Crush mini dolls, plus some Barbie shoes I got in a lot. I hope you like or find you. It was in a lot. Okay. I was like, if you found those at the thrift store, that's one of those like major scores. Like the time I found those three giant bags, was it three or two? Those enormous bags of Monster High accessories. That was crazy. Um, I hope you like or can find some use for these dolls. Thank you for your videos and all that you do sincerely. And again, if you want me to put your YouTube name, please let me know. I'm happy to do it. Um, it's just that I saw that you wanted your Instagram private. So I want to make sure that I don't, um, accidentally say like this is their youtube channel that they also don't want me to say anyway um thank you so so much tiffany you're so sweet i'm so excited i mean i think this is my favorite little guy like look how cute wait which one's cuter which one's cuter mm. you don't know <laughs> okay these are really really cute Alrighty. so next we have um let's go I don't know where to go um it's like i've got one two three four five six seven things here okay so the next one is this one um <laughs> to be really careful not to show anything okay so let's see Whoop. it's so awkward i should probably just cut these beforehand i do that with some of them because sometimes i have to do multiple takes of um, i never take another take if I've already opened the box but if I've already cut it like there's two here that I've already cut um but maybe I should just do that before the video starts because it's a little awkward to be like okay I have to cut it open now <laughs> sorry um anyway but you know we're just hanging out we're just we're just hanging out it's fine right <laughs> okay whoa okay okay I'm gonna progress with this one because there's no note up top but I'm really sorry if there is one um but wow okay so this is what I've opened the box so this is what we see so we got a lot of different things going on in here so okay so first we have one of the barbie sisters i don't think i have any of the modern dolls of this one i mean which one is this i don't i don't remember sorry <laughs> um and then we have for Ro oh did they do did they do ferocious without articulated elbows i didn't know that i'm gonna have to see if she's different from the other one Cool. I had no idea about this. Wait. <gasps> Did they do a whole Supersonics pack with no... I was not aware of this. Look. And then here's... Okay, I... Wait, that's not... Sorry, I was like, wait, I think I found a note, but I don't know actually what this is. Um, cool. I did not know. That is really interesting, actually. Oh, and there's Lady Gaga. Huh. Oh, I remember this. I do remember the arm being painted instead of the way that it is. Okay. I, I've seen this one before, at least. I'm not up to date on OMG stuff at all. Unfortunately, I need to look into that more. And then we have a very nice looking Millie. Her hair is like a lot like more platinum blonde than usual here. And her hair is like a really nice saran. She's really cute. Very, very cute one. And then we have, oh my God, <laughs> it's the Billie Eilish doll. <laughs> oh my gosh. I always thought these were actually really cool. I don't know anything about this artist, um, but I remember there's two of these dolls, right? Is this the actual outfit? I have no idea. Um, but one of them has these like really cool fairy wings. Or was that? That might have been an action figure now that I think about it. I don't know. In my defense, I don't know. Um, but she's really cool. Her face is like actually really, really cool. I'm not usually into celebrity dolls, as you guys know, but this one actually looks really nice. Um, really well done. What company had done these? I don't remember. Was it? Was it NECA? or something i feel like it was a company that isn't super um doll focused usually like they don't normally do them her hair is super soft by the way um i don't know no company make listed interesting i'll have to do more research on these really really cute thank you um and then 
Sorry, I saw her as soon as I unboxed, like I opened the box. Look how cute. This is a Kindy Kids. I've never had one of these because I find them at, or I have a mini one. Um, I find these at thrift stores and I think they're super cute. Um, and I see them at the stores too. Um, but I've never grabbed one because they're pretty big and I try to avoid like huge, huge dolls. But I know exactly where she's going to go. There's a certain spot in my office that I have a couple of Lala Loopsies that I think she'll be really cute up there. Her hair is so soft. Um, this is another one where like, oh my god, I want to see fashion dolls of these because they are so, so cute. Um, her outfit is so cute. She's butterfly themed. There's even a little butterfly tattoo. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, these I feel like are like the most popular thing with kids right now. And um, I know you're probably like, huh? I see kids just walking around all the time at the store carrying one of these with like super messed up hair and like all of the clothes ripped off. Like these are the doll. These are the ones that it seems like um, will be super nostalgic later on. It's interesting that they're bobbleheads. I did not know that. Um, but I see, I see kids carrying them around all the time, which always makes me really happy because, you know, I'm, I'm I love dolls and I love to see like what's going on, like what is actually popular with kids. So, um, it's very interesting because I'll see them like at the zoo walking around with the kind of kids. So they're clearly quite popular. <laughs> and then we have this really beautiful Barbie extra. The is she like pineapple themed or something? I don't recall um, what I would call this one specifically, but she is super super cute. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I don't know who to say thank you to. Um, there's a bunch of Rainbow High stickers. I love Rainbow High stickers. You know it. Um, look at this Rainbow High stickers. I, I saw Stella immediately and got excited. And there's my, there's Stella. Stella is nowhere near even my top 20 anymore, unfortunately, because so many good dolls have come out. So I apologize to Stella Monroe. But she's still I'm, I'm still very fond of that doll I think she's really beautiful <laughs> I hope someday she gets like a really cool like costume ball type of doll so that she can be redeemed um super super cool thank you for the stickers um I do have a lot of these already if not all of them so I can actually use these because there's a collector gene in me that I'm like you can't use the stickers <laughs> unless I buy doubles so yay I can use these to decorate my little uh, planner and stuff it'll be fun <laughs> and then we have the younger sister Chelsea right because Kelly was the one when I was a kid yeah, they changed it um not that I care that like it's not a big deal to me but it's like I wonder why and then we have a bunch of the Disney mini brands um notably these are my favorite ones ones I go for these are the classic doll ones so we have Flynn I'm so excited. I'm going to be building my dollhouses soon at some point. I have certain things that I want to get done beforehand. Like there's going to be a big doll room update that's organizing a lot of stuff. Um, well, most of it's already organized, but I, you'll see. Um, I got like a new big cabinet that I've been waiting on. So that's where all the doll accessories and stuff are going to go. Um, and then we have Elsa. <laughs> so after that, we'll probably start the dollhouse videos. Uh, and then we have an animator, Anna. And then we have a Darth Vader. We have an R2-D2. I saw the ad ad on the side and I was like, I wonder if they did one. And then we have Lightning McQueen and Bullseye the Horse from Toy Story. Cute. Okay. And then I have a huge bag of accessories. And also, is this related to this? I wonder. Most likely. Is it like a little tent set? Oh, you know what? I think I saw there's Honey Bee Acres in here. Is that the Honey Bee Acres little tent set? Okay, there's a ton of accessories. So I'm going to turn the camera down again. All right. Hello, my friends. Let's check out what's in the bag. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff. I'm going to put them right back in the bag. Okay, wow. Um, thank you so much to whoever sent this. I hope that I didn't like lose the note or something, but it's totally fine if you didn't send one, but I really appreciate it. Okay, so we've got Honey Bee Acres. Little kitties. I love these. I have more of these. I still need to unbox, actually. <laughs> um, and then unicorn one. And this little... I think this one came with the house place. I like the big... Or was this the art studio one? I don't remember. I didn't... I do have the art studio. I think I didn't unbox it yet. Ooh. This is probably Honeybee Acres. This is super nice. Little rug. Super cute. It's probably a blanket for them, though. And then this little tablet computer thing. This is one of those, like, convertible ones. And then we have this little kitty. And then the LOLs from, oh, I wonder, because the Lady Gaga was a Glitterati before, right? So these are different. Cool. Glitterati is just what the glitter ones are called, right? Or am I mistaken? I'm not a super knowledgeable. Oh my god, a Tamagotchi? What? Whoa, how do you turn these on? I don't know. Maybe the batteries are dead. Oh, it's cool. Okay, I've never had a Tamagotchi, actually. I've had, like, the Littlest Pet Shop version. And then in here, we have the accessories for Midnight. 
And then another little Honeybee Acre friend. I've got some little shorts for someone, I'm not sure. Maybe like a Chelsea. This, it's cool that they're so different from the um, releases that I have, the like original ones. Oh look, cause this, these are electronic, yeah. So, oh, that's so weird. It's cool. Look at them. They're just like the molds with, I'm shocked how painted they are actually considering. Um, and then a little shoe box. Got, this probably goes to bad girl. We've got some hangers. Little plate. Little hangers. Oh, is this from um, Creepover Draculaura? So much stuff. I'm very curious about it. Okay, we've got the Lady Gaga hat. It's Fame Queen, I'm sorry. Um, ooh, these are cool little chains. And a little skirt. Uh, is this like a spur? I think this is a spur from a boot of an OMG. Um, and I accidentally dumped some of the stuff on top of that. Um, these are the stickers from a Honey Bee Acre set. I think I don't have that. I mean, I think I have that set in box. A sock. And we got a bunch of stuff. Let me pull out. Ooh, this is cute. That probably goes in the Honey Bee Acre set too. <gasps> Oh my god, cute! Okay, and then I'm just gonna pull out like things that are interesting. I think that goes to creep over to. Oh, there's another pizza. Okay, wait, how many? I've got three. <laughs> how many pizzas can we find? The the OMGs are really inter. Oh, four, 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 four. Okay, how many make a complete pizza? I think eight. Cool. Oh my god, look at the cute little. These are so cool. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for all of the doll accessories and things. This would be cool on a Draculaura. I don't know if it would fit exactly. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We are one pizza away, I think. So we didn't need four, we needed three. Whoa, oh, and pie. Why did I just try to call that pineapples? Popcorn. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much. There's a bunch of earrings too. I'm putting them in there because they will stay. Thank you so, so much. This is so cool. Uh, Gotta get this all sorted into what doll line it goes to and get it all organized into my doll stuff. Look at this little pizza. It is so cute. Oh, wait. That is the complete pizza. I was just holding it apart too much. Look. The pizza. <laughs> Sorry. I was really invested in this pizza situation. Okay. <laughs> Let me put all these back in the baggie. This is cute, too. This is probably Honey Bee Acres. I love the Honey Bee Acres, like, accessories. They're so cool. Okay. Let me turn the camera back up. Thank you so, so much. Alrighty. So, thank you so much to the anonymous person. Um, these are all super, super cute, and I really appreciate it. Um... All right, so this next one, I don't want to pull it onto the camera, but it's about that big. Uh, there's just, this was international, so it has a lot of like different little tags on it. So let's open it up. I already cut the tape on this one. I'm thinking ahead now. Okay, I have a note. Okay, this says for Brooke. That's me. So it's like weird to read my name for some reason. I don't know. Okay. Okay, wait, what am I, where do I start? I want to start here. I think this might be a cat picture. It is cat pictures, yes, okay. Oh, I don't know how this type of envelope works. Do you undo the tape so that you can read the note? That's cute. I don't know very much about stationery, unfortunately. So I think you open it like that and then it folds out into this cute little, yeah, okay. Okay, it's bios and all the cats, okay. We've got this one. Oh, this one has one eye and it's like super, That the fur on this one's really, really cool. This one says Carly on the back and then, just no context, I don't know anything about you, but I'm like, here's your cats, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this little tabby. Okay, and then look, this is your essential guide to perfect or something. Perfect to go next to this really cute cat. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, And okay, they are so cute. Okay, so the red cat is male, around three years old, my mom's friend's cat. Thank you for sending me pictures of other people's cats. You get it, like. I just, I, I, I can't wait to do this, but when I make my corkboard of just pictures of other people's cats that a lot of them I've lost the context to, it's going to be perfect. That's what my gallery on my phone is, by the way. Like, people will post pictures of their cats on their Instagram story. I will hold it down and screenshot it, meaning it loses the username. And then I just have, like, hundreds of probably, I don't know how many exactly, but I have, like, hundreds of pictures of other people's cats that have gathered over the years. I have no clue whose cat this is. It'll be a fun forensics game, honestly. Like, I posted on... <laughs> Like, posted on Twitter, which y'all's cat is this? Like, whose cat is this? <laughs> um, I need to start screenshotting it with the name in it. I'm just like, that is such a cute cat. I need a picture of that. Anyway. Um, Carly, the red cat with the missing eye. Okay, so this is Carly. And it says red. Okay, so I think this is somebody else's cat. This cat is darling. So, so cute. 
And then um, Carly is 10 years old and he's very shy and he's your aunt's cat. And then Charlie is white and brown cat. So I think we have two or three pictures of this one, of Charlie. We got Carly and Charlie. So, okay, Kurt, please forgive me if I'm wrong. I think it's this cat. Um, male three and a half um, years rules over my grandma's house. Actually, it's his house. Also, my aunt's cat, he lives in the same house. The, oh, I didn't even see. Here are some pics of my cats in my family because I don't have any pets. Oh, it's okay. You still have time to convert to having a lot of cats. Um, thank you so, so much for sending these. I love them. They're so, so cute. Um, it's so cool to see, like, your family's cats. Because, yeah, like, in the extended me universe, there's a lot of cats, right? Like, I don't even have a lot of family members. But the ones that I do, like, still have contact with have cats. Like, my step aunt has this like really cool Devon Rex um that I claim because Devon Rexes are really cool and they have the warmest bellies in the game anyway <laughs> okay oh spoilers okay it said spoilers on it so I'll stop okay I will I will wait for this okay so in here whoa okay um I'm scared I'm missing a note um okay I will wait to read this so right now it's mystery so but we know the cat, so that's all we really need, right? So this is what the box looks like right now. Got a bunch of newspaper. And I did see in the note, there's like a little PS that said you can mention the country. Um, these are from Austria. I don't think I've ever had something from Austria. Maybe I'm forgetting. I'm so sorry if I'm forgetting. Um, I don't even think I've ever bought anything from Austria. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, anyway, let's see. Okay, so first we have this little newspaper. And... Oh my goodness, it's exciting. All the newspapers from another area is very interesting. Okay. Ah! <gasps> Yo! Ah! G2 My Little Pony! <gasps> Look at her. You're beautiful. Look at her. Oh my gosh. The space theme. I didn't, the comb's having like a little necklace too. She's so cute. Okay princess okay sorry i i should have known because this is probably a pony too i should have known from the shape but i, I didn't want to like start guessing i feel like that's rude because whoever's inside if they're not what i guess will be like <laughs> anyway um oh a pony we have a g3.5 sweetie bell and this is one of those special ones with like the cool cascading i regret so much with g3.5 because i actually i don't like i don't dislike them at all um i i like a lot of them actually in these like the duck face ones that people don't like. I actually think they're really cool. Um, G3.5 is like a weird era. It's like very transitional. And the reason I don't super collect them is because it's the same seven characters over and over. But when my dad, sorry, I'm like rubbing my knee against that. When my dad used to own a toy store, like he used to run a toy store, uh, we would get these in all the time because it was like a vintage toy store. So like thrifted stuff, um, people would just sell their like toys and stuff. We would get G3.5 all the time. And I was being like, like I was talking about earlier, I would pick up on what the like general community was thinking on stuff. And I knew the community didn't like these. So I know I would fix their hair to put them up on display in the store, but I would just leave them. And I regret that now because I remember there's some really cool ones. Like they did a lot of fun stuff with them. And I don't even think I have one of each of the main six. At least I didn't like a year ago. So <laughs> um, I need to get them on display so I can start to really um, work through them. Anyway. Now I have one from Austria, so that's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> um, and then we have in here, it says pony on it, which is really cute. What is y'all's word for pony? It's probably pony. Oh my gosh, who are you? It's a little G2. I love that the rhinestones are such an important feature that they're still there. I assume this is like a Happy Meal one. Not, sorry, not Happy Meal, but like some kind of um, fast food one. Cool, her tail is super long. Interesting, okay. Cutie my little herd back there <laughs> and then okay wait who are you what is this this is a pixie doos are they owls what are they i think they're owls no those look like cat ears what is this style my unique super soft hair with the thank goodness there's english for me because <laughs> um i guess spanish is or I guess German's close enough. Um, with friendship bracelet and tattoo sticker, style my unique super soft hair with the cool pixie do's comb. Try the hairstyle on yourself too. See, I've definitely seen like these before. Like I've seen them around online, but I haven't really seen much about them. So, oh, it says for collecting and holding deer. 
That's the cutest way you can put that. I will. Thank you. Cool. I'm very curious about these. The hair is very soft. It doesn't feel like, it feels like, um, like wig fiber, like cosplay wig material. It's very interesting. Whoa. I am very curious about this. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. We'll have to include her in one of those, like, random unboxings I do so that she can get like her special spotlight because that's my trick. I put OMGs in there and then people want to watch the video because they like OMGs and then they're forced to be introduced to new doll lines. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm very curious about this. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I have a cool new toy line to research. Are they cats? Like I, let me know guys, what animal is this? Because from the toy, I was thinking owl because I thought this was a beak, but I think they are cats. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, next. Yes. Let's see what's inside. Also, I'm noticing like all of this stuff is like individually wrapped like this. And I wanted to say like, I recently did that. Like I never do that usually, but I sent a birthday package to one of my friends and I individually wrapped everything. And um, it was a lot. So um, like, thank you for that effort. It's really sweet. Um, really cute, LOL. I don't know who this is, but she is darling with her little freckles. God, she's really cute. Um, and then I think this little baby may have broken, but this is like one of those Barbie movie type random lines that I will never be able to gauge which one it's from. Very cute. And that tail will go together so easily with super glue. Cute. Maybe like a temperature thing. She got temperature shocked when she moved through something. And then we have an LOL little, so this is from Color Change Surprise probably. Wait, so now we get to figure out who it is. Hold on. Hold on, I'm doing my research. Precious, a perfect name. Precious is the perfect word to describe you. A bunch of these characters already existed before. Honestly, probably all of them did. Because I see Merbaby. Merbaby, by the way, I have a vendetta against that character. I mean, she's beautiful. I really like that one. She's really cute. But Burma I'm I'm always searching for Merbaby's dolls. And no matter what, no matter what you're searching on, it will inevitably show Merbaby, the LOL. And there's a million of those, of course, because LOL is really popular. But I'm looking for merbabies, which are already hard to find, and now the search is oversaturated. <gasps> Whoa! Hello! <laughs> Ooh, I have to be careful. I have to, I'm trying his, um, I don't want to hurt his head. It's Heath from Monster High. Generation 1? Oh my goodness. Oh, the newsprint got on his face. I'm going to have to figure out how to get that off. Whoa! Cool. So... Now I can display one with Home Make Abby and then display one in the signature section. So that's really cool. And I have one, but he doesn't have, I'm like double checking what he has. Um, he doesn't have, oh my gosh, the stand is still attached. He doesn't have the coat actually. So it's really cool to have it. <gasps> Thank you. You guys, y'all, you guys all know, like she did not collect the Manster's when they were out. To be, to be fair, I had quite a few when they were like in stores. Invisibility was my favorite. He's really cute. He's really cute. Okay, I guess Monster High Vinyl soaks up um, newsprint really well. Um, I've heard of that happening. Okay, the next one. And then, okay, wait. I don't want to hurt the neck uh, joint, so I'll start down here. Because uh, Heath had me a little bit scared. <laughs> um, it's my fault because I'm opening these very... Ooh, music festival! Claudia, the fact that I can do that from a glance at the shoes <laughs> with a doll that I don't even have. Oh my god. To be fair, I have this doll nude. I do, actually. Um, <laughs> I found her at a thrift store years ago, and for some reason I was like, yeah, I'll totally find her out, but never did. Um... Music festival, Claudine, and I do actually have um, extra, at least one extra very important monster thing. Okay, so music festival, it's really funny. I really like this line. I loved it when it was out. I really wanted them, but I was being very picky. I would only buy like one of each character basically, unless I super, super loved one. Um, but this completes music festival for me, I'm pretty sure, which is exciting. Um, cause, oh no, it doesn't. There's Dracula. Um, but I have the store display for these. Like I've had the store display since 2014 or 2015, whenever they came out, I have the store display. <laughs> and I never had the dolls, so I had a nude Claudine. So she's gorgeous. I And I the reason I bought the Claudine, cause I normally just avoided nude Monster High dolls cause I bought her back in like 2014 or 2015. Her face was like, look at her face. Thank you. I never really get to add to my Monster High collection anymore because it's so hard to find ones that I don't already have. So this is like, really appreciated <laughs> okay yeah big old hand on this one she's gonna be monster high again i don't know um <laughs> oh hello why is your head so big <laughs> can't just ask people why their heads are so big 
I think this is um from the I think this coffin like a playset one. Oh, it's because there were multiple layers of the newspaper. Oh yes, okay, so it is the coffin bean. This is the coffin bean Claudine. I have her dress, and I think I have the doll nude, but I didn't have most of her stuff because um, when I was a member of one of the Monster High forums, I used to constantly. God, her hair is perfect. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to call you, um, Carly's friend, Charlie's friend. <laughs> Anyway, I had a couple of her accessories because I was on a Monster High forum and sometimes people, because there were so many people doing customs, people would sell like different parts of the dolls and I had so much fun doing that. So I have some random Monster High accessories <laughs> um, from back then. And also I find stuff thrifting, but I love her shoes. She's so cute. Also, this happens over time with some Monster High dolls. Their um, like legs get a little bit loose with the knees specifically, but I love it. They're so like satisfying to pose. I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay, next we have cool whoa the art on these is that really cool art these are five ra ra radier gummy sorry i english is a germanic language you'd think i could probably figure out how to pronounce these words but um do y'all really do y'all have a shorter word for that or because d is deutsch so it's probably german right radier gummies huh i mean it seems like a lot of language call them gummies i mean it makes sense watch it be like gummy or something and i'm pronouncing it very wrong these are gorgeous that is so cool to have merch from another country. I'm sorry, that's like, that is so exciting. <laughs> Thank you. Just choked on my spit there. Thank you so much. Okay, this is a interesting size one. Thank you so much. Ooh, okay, who are you? Like, actually, who are you? Whoa, okay, so I think this is a Jack's Pacific doll, right? If I actually got that right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I've been doing so much research for doll act. So this is one of those, so Jack Specific, when they started, they used to do a lot of like, is the word imitation. I don't know what to call it. Not bootleg, but like, they were very, they were trying to market like, this is a holiday doll, not a holiday Barbie, but like, you know, um, and it, it seems to have worked quite well, but that's what this doll is. I'm pretty sure it's one of those holiday dolls from like the late nineties, early two thousands, but that's so cool. I really love Jack specific. And I didn't know about this early history that they did. Cause I knew they did celebrity dolls early on, but I didn't know about this stuff. And I think they're like really, really pretty. Um, and I actually just saw one at the flea market and kind of regretted not getting her. So, um, yay. Thank you so much. She's beautiful. Oh, look at her little shoe. To double check that I didn't lose a shoe, <laughs> which is totally fine if she only has the one. Cause, yeah, I did. I don't want to accidentally throw away a shoe. Um, but dolls with big gowns, I don't care if they have their shoes or not because you can't see them. Although it is cool if they do. <laughs> um, okay, next. Who's in here? This is a weird shape, actually. Um, what is this doll? What? from Simba. Okay, Simba has a lot of cool dolls. What are you? Huh. Well, it's difficult to stump me and you got me. Who is this? Is she from like a franchise or is she, I know Simba does some generic type dolls, like, um, generic would have been a better word for this one probably. Um, like I've seen some that are actually really cute. I think it was Simba or maybe it was Woody that they were like just generic mermaids and I thought they were really interesting and I really want to do more research on this kind of thing, but it's difficult to do research on dolls from other countries like it, it because I don't know the language and I don't know like what specific websites to roll with. So right now I'm doing some dolls from China and it's been in South Korea. It's been rough um, for the doll database. Uh, but anyway, she is so cute. I love her watermelon color scheme. Well, let me know, Europeans. Who is this? Cool. Um, it's really interesting to have because I love the Simba Winx dolls. They are phenomenal dolls. So it's really interesting to see another one. And her face is so distinct. She's very interesting. Thank you. I love being introduced to new doll lines. And that's one that I haven't even seen before. So that's super, super cool. And then here we have, oh, I bet you, cause this is a manifest of everybody. So I'll probably be able to figure out who she is uh, based on that now that I think about it, but still have fun in the comments. Let me know who it is. Okay. And then we have, this is a Barbie fairy of some sort. She got the newspaper bad. I think it'll just rub off. I think she'll be okay. Cute. So this is a fairy of some sort. Her hair is so soft. I don't know if you just take perfect care of them after you get them or if you are the grandmaster of saran hair, but wow. So soft. Is this saran? No, this is Kanekalon, right? Hard to tell. I think that's Kanekalon. Sorry. Gorgeous. I mean, to be fair, all your saran ones are perfect too. I'm like, what? I think this is nylon. I'm not sure. Um, not sure. It's sometimes hard to tell with older dolls. Um, okay. In here, 
we have. Who are you? Oh, what's that? <gasps> Sorry. This is the, like, European exclusive Rosetta. So she needs some work, but oh my gosh. So the Disney store exclusive. I found one of these at a thrift store years ago and I'm an idiot and I didn't buy her. Um, she was there for weeks too. I feel so stupid, but she didn't have her outfit, but she had her wings and stuff. But now I have her. Yep. For some reason, most of the fairies characters in their full size are exclusive to Europe and it's really irritating. So I'm trying to like ignore Disney fairies right now because I really, really want to try to get a hold of a bunch of the European ones, but like Thank you! Um, I am really excited to make her some wings to put because I love this mechanism. It's so satisfying. Like, it flaps the wings. It's so cool. And she's beautiful. Like, thank you! Oh my gosh, from the top of her head, I was like, who is that? And then I realized, okay. okay. Well, what is in here? <laughs> um, I was, like, the, the weight of that was not what I was expecting. Oh! Hello. It's a G3.5, or like a Ponyville. Little... Is it like a Polly Pocket type of thing? Yeah, look. Cute. I've never seen this before. I don't have a whole lot of knowledge on Ponyville stuff. Um, Ponyville being um, Generation 3.5 minis. It's, there's a lot of G3.5 stuff. Cool. I love the artwork. Like, how cute is that? Cute. Is this... I've, I don't... I'm not familiar with this. I know they did, like, smaller play sets for those, but I've, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Cool. Thank you. And then in here... Ooh, we got a peek. Who is it? I think it's a pony. I think it's a G1. I think it's a sweetheart sister. Final answer. Yeah, sweetheart sister. Oh my gosh. I have one from the series actually. And for some reason, I think whoever owned her just was very frustrated with her because they poked a bunch of holes in her with these little earring things. So she had like a necklace made out of them, which was cute, but there were just random holes everywhere. Um, but anyway, that's my story about one of these that I have. So when you see this one on display next to someone with a bunch of holes, don't be mean to her. She's still beautiful and perfect. Anyway, cute perfect beautiful condition but you see like this i know my little pony is nylon my little pony is nylon um i've seen a lot of people calling it polypropylene lately which is interesting um anyway very similar behavior to this even though this is like 20 years younger probably maybe like 15 um beautiful i think these are no bright bouquet is like a family right i don't remember what this line is called but it's a sweetheart sister line and she even has her little earring which most of mine don't have thank you she's so cute so cute join the herd gorgeous okay then we have this, which, ah, is this Claude from Forbidden Love? Oh my gosh. Hello. Cool. <laughs> this is Forbidden Love Claude. He is super, super cute. I love this one. I, I mean, I've told y'all this story so many times about how many times I was like, dad, I don't want the Forbidden Love pack. Like, I'm fine. Um, and how much I regretted it later <laughs> because I was like, I already have a Draculaura and I had school shorts, school shorts Draculaura and I had the specific variant that is not very cute. There is a beautiful one, but I had the, the looking one. Um, so I was like, I have my Draculaura, like I'm good. <laughs> but anyway, look how cute he is. Super, super cute. And I probably have some extra man manster shoes for him or he can just be displayed like, I don't know. <laughs> cute. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Just make sure. Okay. Claude. Whoa. Okay, sorry. I'm not I'm not used to Claude. Okay. And then this this I, I want to say this is a big head again. Okay, I think this is actually a big head. Um What are you from? Really nice hair. Wait, is it? Oh, I think it's nylon. What is this? What company makes you? Your face is so distinct. Okay, wait. There's a tag here. It doesn't say the company. Okay. Funville? It has a UK address. Okay, I have no idea. Man, I, I really thought I knew more about European doll lines than I do. Her shoes are amazing and her outfit is really, really nice too. It's not like the best quality in the world, but like it's really, really nice. Like the Everything's really well finished and all the materials are really nicely chosen. She's really interesting. When is she, when is she from? Her earring is really cute. Little like swirly C. I have no idea. I can't wait to read that manifest to figure this out. She's really cool. Really unique doll. She reminds me of the Beatrix girls kind of like loosely just because of the size I think. Cool. It's definitely a hair play doll. I think this is nylon but at the bottom it's 
feel I think it's just because it has like wax or something and it has a, it has some kind of product in it this is a really cool doll thank you Ooh, curious these are our mysteries these are our mysteries I probably thought you'd stump me <laughs> kidding um okay then we've we've reached another layer um let's go here oh my gosh hello what She's from Europe. So Mycene Madison had a different name in Europe. I don't know why. Um, and it's Wesley. And since this one is in box, it says Wesley on it. So I don't have this Madison and I would probably, this Wesley, and I probably would want to unbox her. But because she says Wesley on her packaging, I'm definitely leaving her in box. Ah, oh, cool. And her box is in super nice condition too, other than the price tag situation, which is inevitable. Um, cool. Thank you. Her outfit is amazing by the way there's so many like really unique cool mycene like outfits that i feel like nobody ever talks about also her hair texture is really beautiful this is a really pretty westly westly is it because like because madison is named after like madison new york so i guess they in child but it's like a normal name too i don't know because i don't even know what westly like i don't i mean i've met like westleys but not westleys but maybe this is like a location in europe that would kind of be similar to like madison i don't know I need to look into the story behind that if anybody's ever said it if we know but cool thank you maybe it's like moana where where um they changed it to viana for reasons <laughs> um i do know the reasons but I'm, I'm not gonna say it here um okay so here we have oh, cute we have some disney princess stickers which are from disney of and they've got like a netherlands address cool these are really neat. I really like the graphic design on these. And then we have, oh, let me fix my <laughs> headband. We have another one, which are puffy stickers. And I immediately noticed this precious one. Oh, ooh, look at that one. Cute. Oh, and the when will my life begin one? This art style is really, really adorable. These are so fun. I love that some of them are with princes and then Aurora's fully just like, I'm with my owl dancing. I mean, it's from the song, but that's really cute. Oh my gosh, okay. I love these. They're so shiny and pretty. These, um, one of these is definitely going on the cover of my planner because these are really, really cool. Ooh, the, it's a strange choice I like. Cute. Alrighty, we're, I'm gonna get all the stuff out of the sides, I think. Okay, then we have, oh my gosh, these are so sparkly. Yeah, I've noticed that like, it seems like in Europe, oh my gosh, this says terrible fan art inside. Did I miss something? I hope not. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to double check. Sorry, I just noticed that. Maybe it's referring to something else. We'll see. Because I don't see anything in my pile. But it was just... Oh, I'm worried now. Um, but anyway. These are so sparkly. Anyway, I've noticed that, like, it seems like in Europe, y'all like stickers. And, yeah, it's weird. I, I'll i be like, I want to decorate my planner. I'm going to go look for stickers. And I look at, like, all the stores that, in theory, should have stickers. And they just don't. They have, like, a couple of stickers in, like, the birthday party favor section. Where are all the stickers? <laughs> anyway. Cute. These are awesome. You guys flush out my sticker collection so much though and i appreciate it a lot i decorated my planner with them and i was so satisfied fantasy model sticker world look at this art so cute what company makes these top model whoa now i use removable stickers so you can play in your little scenes oh oh that's where the sticky note came from Oh, cute. It's not terrible. I love this. Thank you. Also, I love the font that you have very well um, mimicked because I know that font. Thank you. This is so cute. And it's me holding the fan art. We've got like a meta story going on there. <laughs> I love it. I wish my bangs looked like that again. I messed up, y'all. Like I tried to cut them and I did it twice too and they got really bad. Um, they're fine now, but they're like just barely uneven. So, and they're shorter than I want them to be. Thank you. This is so cute. Staring at myself. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. And it's not terrible. Don't you dare. Oh, I know you, Eclair Collects. Eclair, how would you pronounce that? Okay, I know who you are. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, look at these stickers. They're so sparkly. Whoa, okay. 
Oh, I love that there's already somebody in there. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> These are so cool. Okay, wait. I saw that one was missing. Where is it? It's probably just somewhere. Um, or not even in here. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. Mermaid one. This is glorious. These actually aren't reusable pages, I don't think, unless the stickers just happen to be. But if I were to, like, laminate them, they would be. So I might actually do that. <laughs> it would be difficult to do it inside a book. This is fabulous oh it says i love fantasy world in the sun or the moon i can't tell what time of day this is these art scenes are gorgeous okay i am really excited to stare at this thank you this is cool it's so neat to see like products from across the world it's so fun okay we got frozen two stickers frozen two puffy stickers yes sir what does nl stickers mean like what does that mean oh it's saying the language but nl being like is FR French auto clance. D German auf Kleber. But what is NL? I don't know. That is English. Or maybe it's NL being like Netherlands, but they don't speak Netherlandish or something. They speak Dutch, right? I don't know. Y'all will have to explain to me, European folks. Okay. <laughs> and then you have to. <laughs> it's a me and me fan magazine. Okay, so I know the word unicorn is identical in English and German, basically, but Einhorn is, like, cute to me for some reason. Like, I love that word. That means unicorn, right? Hopefully. Um, also, there's Animal Crossing New Leaf ad on the back, which is really cool. I think Brett's gonna get a kick out of that. Oh my gosh, this is me and me magazine! I desperately wish they did these more in the U.S. I have a couple of Monster High ones from when they came out. Um, God, there's, like, all the merch is listed. I... This is, like super cool oh my gosh oh there's a 10 percent off coupon but you have to use it by sometime in 2014 so i'm so excited for the me and me movie by the way what if i like missed that coming out i need to check in on that um oh my gosh this is so cool me and me is like dangerously underrated so if you're watching this look into it <laughs> and then what is this a zelf's poster okay wait we got oh wait do you glue them together look and they're so cool it's like a little bard or something cute whoa okay zelf's is so cool oh look at this one a little genie one let me put it that way cute oh and i like this little halloweeny one cute that is cool i wonder where this came from were they like a magazine activity or something cool was there a zelf's fan magazine i need to know that that is cool okay and then ah a Winx magazine. I think this is season four era. Wait, no, no, no. It's season three. Sorry. Um, that's not a season four swimsuit. Whoa. 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 Oh my God. All the, sorry. I, <laughs> is there a merch list? There's a merch list. I'm going to be like, I need that. Oh. Ah! I'm sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to be like, I need that. I need that. I need that. Oh my God. Sorry, that specific, like, the movie poster for Secret of the Lost Kingdom art, that one, I would die to have merch with that on it. It's so beautiful. I want, like, a poster of it, but I can't find, like, a good quality picture to be able to print the poster. I would buy it officially, but I don't even think they sell it. Um, you get the Wings comics. Oh, there's posters in here. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Cool. I love love this this is awesome oh yeah there's supposed to, okay wait let's read my fortune uh or horoscope sorry it's not called fortune horoscope okay wait oh i don't know what month is which okay wait i do okay so the day is first so i need to find a seven in the second part all right i am a siren that's awesome because it's july 26th through august 18th I super can't read that. I'm sorry, but it has a little like vampire looking face. So during whatever time this was, that's how I was doing. Hey, I think I actually have that um keychain. Maybe not. I have a keychain that's similar to that, but not that. I don't think I have that outfit. Anyway, um, probably need to figure out some German. I wonder if German people have an easy time learning English because it must be. I mean, it's it's in theory the same language family, but I find that more Latin. I mean, obviously it's because I learned Spanish, but I notice more Latin roots in English than I do when I'm trying to read German stuff, but I know like we have some some obvious words like kindergarten, like yeah, that's a German word, but I don't know. Anyway.
anyway, and here, oh, wings belong to the Simba doll. Let's see them. Let's see them. It's a moment of truth. Are they amazing wings? They probably are. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love that they're made just like the Simba wings doll wings, which these, they're like cute and they, they do last sometimes, but they can fall apart really easily. Okay. Where'd our dog go? Let's put her wings on. Okay. Now we get to see the full vision with her. She's so cute. I'm very surprised how little green is in her wings, but it makes like the greens on her outfit pop and her hair. Cute. Really interesting doll. Okay. And then we have a box. Ah! Ah! What? <laughs> I, I still don't know if this doll was sold in America. I tried and I could not get her. Sorry, for s I don't know how to explain this to you, but this was actually a grail for me. <laughs> I've never seen that inner art. That is amazing. I love you. Hi. Because uh, I think the dress is just so cool. Thank you. <laughs> Ariel. I, I didn't... Why would they spell it different? Oh my gosh. Honestly, maybe this is like a like a word so they want to differentiate it in another language i don't know what language is it is it it's german but all these other languages are fine i think that's german i don't know sorry fun 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 kelden is that's german right i don't know <laughs> oh my gosh i cannot wait to unbox this doll thank you man i'm it's ariel month <laughs> not that this didn't arrive in a different month or anything but oh my gosh thank you and then we have Oh, it says radiator gummy. I know that means eraser. I learned. That's a little fairy eraser with the coolest wings. A rose eraser. I'm gonna probably gonna leave this in box because I always am scared of these little puzzle erasers because I feel like they break super easily. And then look at this little wreath. Cool. Elfin, is that fairy or is it elf? No, I feel like fairy is like fae or something, right? Like F-E-E. -E. I don't know. Cute. That's probably just a completely different one. Sorry. Um, and then we have, oh, little pet shop lucky pets. I love the little pet shop. Thank you. Oh my gosh. This, I'm going to have to mark this one special. I don't have any of these in box, but I mean like when I get a, whoever this is out, because that'll be my Austrian pet. Um, and then we have this from the City Tales line, I think, or maybe just in general, a cat and animal. I've never had one of these. I didn't know they did like younger ones. The cat is really, really cute. And so these, are these on store shelves in Europe? Like, I, I'm very curious, like, how are they doing? Because it's very strange that these have continued, but other lines that seem to be doing better are, but I know in a lot of cases, like the Mattel wing stalls, for example, Mattel will keep things going in Europe a lot longer than in other countries, um, which is very interesting because I know Europe's a really large market, but I'm just curious, like, how well are these doing? I really like Enchantables. It's a, it's a crying shame that they didn't last through the doll drought because I feel like they were actually a really positive entry in the doll drought all right we can read the note <laughs> we made it okay <laughs> also thank you i love the cat ones i was recently looking at the city tales ones and i was really mad because it seems like they were on amazon us and they sold out all right dream fairy doll by simba is what that one was cool oh the funville doll i don't know what it is okay that's gonna be a fun mystery one of you guys will probably know oh, thank you for the list by the way okay sweetheart sisters wildflower um and then our G2 is Princess Crystal, this one, I think. This is marked 1999. McDonald's Happy Meal. It was a Happy Meal from a hot air balloon. Wait, what? There was a Happy Meal hot air balloon? How does that work? Do, do you sell, does y'all's McDonald's like sell stuff? Cool. Okay, I hope you enjoy all the dolls and other items. You are such a doll community icon and really deserve all your success. After watching you for a few years, I really wanted to give you something in return. It's far from perfect, but I tried finding dolls you might be interested in. Some of them, Funville doll, Heath, Coffee Bean, Claudine, have not been cleaned and I suck at doing hair. All of their hair is amazing. I feel like specifically the Claudine dolls, I mean, you said Coffee Bean. Um, I was like really impressed by their hair. So it seems like you can't do hair. <laughs> um... Anyway, I've not been clean and I suck at doing doll hair in general, so you still have some work to do. Also, my identification of Zest self is internally screaming because there are two unidentified dolls on this list. Sorry for that. You are good. We'll figure it out. Um, if you don't need some of the dolls, feel free to get rid of them. Additionally, I didn't 
I don't have anything against you unboxing dolls like Madison. No, because it's Westley, which is so interesting. Thank you so, so much. This was so, so sweet. And I'm so, there's so many cool, like, Europe things. I don't know. It's so exciting because, like, I can't go there. I mean, I could probably, but it's just so cool to see, like, I don't know how to describe it but you guys know i specifically seek out like international interesting dolls like that i just think it's so much fun thank you so so much and thank you for the art too i can't wait to build the art wall i'm just very the reason i haven't done it yet is because i'm like intimidated by it because i really want to do it but i want it to be like perfect and like beautiful and awesome so i'm being very like picky about it but i need to just do it and then if i don't like how it looks i can just redo it it's not a big deal <laughs> but anyways okay so i have one two three four five packages now so we're gonna go with this one i think i recognize the name on this one from the comments but i'm not 100 percent sure so we need to cut this one open Oop. and let's see and thank you so much to blank i i'm, I'm nervous now i feel bad i'm gonna have to like crop your name out because i think i said it a couple times um, <laughs> um but thank you so so much that was so so thoughtful and sweet and i'm really excited to like dive in and learn more about these random european doll lines i've never heard of like that pixie dudes one is really really intriguing to me i want to see if there's like more going on with that okay so here we go hi brooke i hope this letter and this bundle finds you well yes it is okay to share my name congratulations on hitting 50k subscribers thank you you deserve it as you have spent more than a decade being creative and expressing your personality to an audience that you have garnered you yeah it's kind of over a decade huh yeah i had this um this is like random i had this like i don't want like a manager or something because like what are you gonna do that i'm not already doing like you're just gonna steal my money for no reason um for youtube and because like agents and what are they called like the the groups that they do i don't remember what they're called like agencies or whatever like it's a scam like there's no point um <laughs> but i got an email from ron and it, it was like heinous the way they like market it like it was just very slimy like these are the benefits for you but it didn't say like any of the you have to pay us money like it was very I don't know I felt like there was something really slimy about it so I had responded like I'm not interested in agencies this is like the 75th email you've sent me stop um also I find it really disingenuous that you would say all this stuff but not say like what's in it for you like leave me alone and then they sent back like hm, good luck with your channel then 10 years and 50 or like I think they said a thousand videos and only 50,000 subscribers <laughs> it was so funny because I even said in my original email this is a hobby for me leave me alone <laughs> anyway <laughs> you get that little tidbit I get so many emails from random yeah so if you ever email me and i don't answer that's why because my email is absolutely flooded and generally if something's just sent from like a first name last name it gets like flagged off it i still look in my spam folder but it takes me a while usually and sometimes things get buried but it's because i get so many of these like recruiters for agencies which i'm i'm just convinced these are like mlms where like if one of these people manages to snatch a small youtuber and then that youtuber blows up they get like a huge bonus or something that's my guess evil anyway um i love hearing different hot takes and opinions in the doll community and enjoy listening to your commentary whenever i arrange my doll collection i've sent you stuff in the past and yeah i knew i know who you are okay <laughs> and one of my favorite fan mail videos was when you reacted to my cat toby chimmy hicks and his candid headshot since then he has gone to heaven and i miss him every day no i'm sorry to hear oh my gosh your reaction to his pick i feel like i'm gonna cry um your reaction to his pick made my friend and i laugh so hard because he was always in mood i will include more pictures of him when you did the review for your d23 limited edition giselle dolls you mentioned having four giselle dolls she's my favorite obscure disney character and i would love to watch a video of all your giselle dolls or underrated disney girls dolls that's actually interesting because i was thinking about doing that like this morning <laughs> uh, what was it that prompted it i saw a specific doll and i was like oh i should do a video that's like all of my this dolls but i was like wait i have like three but it would still be fun I i've been doing videos like that on my youtube shorts though like i think my most viewed video right now on my youtube channel in general is a short it's like a million views and it's like a showcase of some of those but i would really really love to do that i think it would be a really interesting full-length video so um thank you for the suggestion i'm not sure when it'll happen but i need to um and you were totally mega in real life well thank you <laughs> um i feel like in like middle school i probably literally said that <laughs> um i won't spoil it but i went to super mario land in hollywood and got you and brett a souvenir Thank you for being you. Sincerely, Mark Tony. We really, also thank you, Mark. Um, I know you. We really wanted to go um, on opening weekend, uh, but money ended up not working out, which um, 
hopefully someday I figure that all out. But um, yeah, <laughs> um, I really want to bring Brett there soon. I think it would be really fun because it would be really awesome. But we also just want to go to Japan. So I'm not sure if I should just save that for the Japan trip. But oh, I wish he was still in here. I think he went to go take a nap. He was in here earlier, though. Okay, we got some cats. Oh my goodness, his face! <laughs> Look at him! Your baby. Oh, this one has little eyebrows on. <laughs> Thank you for these. These are so cute. I like this. For Something about this picture is my favorite. Like, it just has an ominous vibe to it. Like, I know you guys can't fully see, but it's like the entire... I feel like this could be in an art gallery. Like, this size, too. Just like... You get it? From this far away, I think you kind of can get it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you lost your baby. Um, it was really hard for me when I lost Gucci because I didn't get to see what happened because he um, just kind of walked away and never came back. And it, it really messed me up for a long time. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> We've got Brooke as Giselle, which... I appreciate that you think that of me. And we've got Hello Kitty holding um, some kind of weapon, but we've got a, it says machete. Um, and I've also got a little dinosaur. I love this. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. I just, I need to know the context behind the Hello Kitty with the machete. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm Giselle. Yes. Yes, indeed. Really sad that Disenchanted didn't get Giselle more attention like I thought that the movie would because it was really good. <laughs> okay. And then we have okay so is this oh my god <laughs> what we've got a little luigi headband <laughs> okay and a mario one okay so i wonder who brett would choose i assume he would pick mario these are hilarious thank you and i'm so glad you got to go because i feel like it is incredible and there's pikmin there did you know that they hide them there's hidden pikmin all over the place Ooh. I'm not gonna have the money. I was like, I should try to go when Pikmin 4 comes out, but they're probably not even gonna do anything. <laughs> anyway, um, we have some Madame Alexander little McDonald's toys. What is this one? Hannah Pepper's friend. Who is Hannah Pepper? I need some content. <laughs> Who is that? I'm gonna have to look into that. And then we have uh, Cruella DeVille. Maybe it's just a Madame Alexander um, a character. And then this is the Halloween pumpkin costume doll. These were like pretty popular when I was little, I feel like. That's when these came out, I think, anyway. Is there a year on these? Yeah, 2004. I remember these being like, especially at garage sales, those would be there all the time when I was younger. And then we have a Polly Pocket one. Interesting. I wonder if this is from, no, 2003, so probably not. But I had one when I was a kid that I thought was really cool. Oh, these are oh, these are from like slightly before that, Um, like the, the look of them. Cool. So we have Polly with tent and Shani with perfect picnic table. I don't see Shani. Come on, Shani. Either she's there. Cool. Thank you. And then we have... Whoa. This is a Steffi Halloween dinosaur. So that explains the dinosaur, I think. Or is this like a Kermit the Frog-esque outfit? I can't tell. Because I guess it could be cool. I've never seen these before. This is really cute. Um, I really hope that somebody who is like an expert on Steffi steps in on the website because I really want to know more about Steffi dolls. Oh my gosh, and a little ladybug one. Oh, these are so cool. Because I feel like maybe there are resources on these and I just haven't found them, but like they're really neat doll line. Like there's some really cool ones. When they, when I worked at Ollie's, I've mentioned that twice now, right? In this video, sorry. <laughs> um, when I worked at Ollie's, they had like some really, really neat ones. I think there was a cat themed one that I was really interested in. Kind of wish that I grabbed that one actually. Oh my gosh, silly pans! When these, before these, because when, when I was a kid, these, like, got really big when I was, like, in middle school. Um, right before that, my friend had, like, traveled to somewhere in Europe. I don't remember where. And um, it was, like, like a Secret Santa thing for gymnastics. And she had brought back animal-shaped rubber bands. It was in, like, a cute little case. And my mom actually found them recently. That's why they're on the top of my head, because she brought them to me when she visited, because she found them. Um, and I remember... When Silly Bands hit right after I had gotten those, which it's probably just because they were a hit there first or something, I don't know. They weren't Silly Bands though, they were just marked animal shaped rubber bands in this really neat little modern box. Um, but I was like, I'm a trendsetter because I remember bringing them to school and having my little bunny shaped one on and being like, so cool. Anyway, um, so Silly Bands are really special. My favorite Silly Band that I have is a clothes hanger. Why did they make that? 
I think I got it from like a pool party like someone was giving out silly bands and I got the clothes hanger and usually you'd be like what the heck I don't want a clothes hanger but I was like yes perfect ridiculous love it and then we have Kristen Chenoweth pony <laughs> princess sky star the big one cute 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 oh my gosh and then we have these stickers hallmark mario stickers and they are sparkly love it then we have a little peach maybe from like a mcdonald's yeah cute i wonder if she what, what her gimmick was or was she just like a cute peach it's actually really cute like her face is really cute and then what <laughs> a shrek watch i don't know where you got this but it's amazing. If I found this at like the antique mall, I would have freaked out. This is hilarious and glorious. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Yeah, I remember there was like Spider Man 2, like that came out a long time ago. There was like a sticker set at Toys R Us when it was closing down, so like in 2019. And I remember being so fascinated by it. I wish I probably took pictures, but I don't think I have them anymore. Maybe I included it in a doll hunt because I remember filming those back then, but I don't know. But anyway, stuff like that, like this specific era was like peak nostalgia period for me because I don't know I was like seven to nine years old ish during that time I don't remember exactly when Shrek 2 came out maybe it came out before that um but anyway thank you <laughs> um I'm so excited to show these to Brett when he wakes up I think he's going to love them and we'll be ready to go to whatever Super Mario World we managed to go to super cool I'm so glad that I got to get him because we were um the play date event which is like sweet sweet but it was like earlier in the year um it, it happened right before march 10th which is mario day um so i got to take him to the nintendo store on mario day and it was so cool he was so excited um so i really want to be able to do more stuff like that for him thank you so so much mark i really really appreciate it and he's gonna be so excited i, I really wish that he was still in there oh i really i wish he was still in here it's okay though i'll show him to him later okay so next we have this little amazon box and um see what's inside so probably should have cut this one in advance I actually cut that one in advance so I probably should have started there sorry I, I can't decide if I should cut them in advance or not doesn't matter sometimes I just get stuck on a topic in the PO box video and I just keep mentioning it and it's like no one cares like stop <laughs> uh, um anyways so inside okay we're in we have Is this homemade? Hold on. Sorry. That that is really cool. <laughs> I was like, I've never seen that before. What is that? Okay. Hi, Brooke. My name is Kelsey. You can read this on camera. Congrats on 50k subscribers. I bet by the time you read this, you'll have even more. Yeah, you probably didn't think I was going to take this long to make the video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, Yeah, I think I'm at like 50, almost 56, right? Yeah, I, I have like a like a little meter in my planner because I'm trying to hit a certain goal by a certain time. I don't want to jinx it by saying it. Uh, but I put it by increments of 10k. But I'm like, dang, I probably should have put it by like less than that so I could feel special more often because I'm like, I'm just waiting on the day that I can finally fill in the first one. <laughs> anyway, um, I just know you're going to continue to grow and it's always a pleasure to watch you reaching new goals. Thank you. I've been meaning to send these to you for a while. I saw Rainbow High Pajamas at Target during the fall. You are so smart! But I didn't want to just send you kids pajamas that you couldn't wear, so I made them into pillows. I'm actually impressed I was able to get so many pillows out of one set. That is so smart. I'm sorry they're kind of small for throw pillows, but I hope you'll find somewhere to put them. I kept one for myself with Bella's face because I'm a Bella stan. And you know that I'm not, so you don't need that little guilty face. You're good. That is so smart. I actually bought, because Kohl's, I, I bought a bunch of Monster High dolls from Kohl's, and I think there was like a minimum order to get free shipping, and they had like a sale on Rainbow High clothes. And I bought the kids pajama pants set because it came with shorts and it came with pants. And I was like, I think the shorts will work because I, I don't know. I don't know who I'm fooling. I do not fit in children's clothing anymore. <laughs> um, not that size anyway. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately, well, they kind of fit like I can wear them. but They're extremely uncomfortable, but this is actually genius. I'm gonna have to do this. This is really, really smart, actually. Um, I also included a few things you might enjoy. Oh, don't read it. Don't read it. Okay. I also wanted to gush about my kittens. Our house backs up to a farm and one day in September, a pregnant stray showed up in our backyard. We thought someone dumped, we think someone dumped her because they didn't want to deal with the kittens, but she wasn't afraid of us at all. So we bought her into our garage and three days later she gave birth. She had a litter of six and it was so much fun raising them. Three of them went to a new home and so did the mama, but we couldn't find homes for the other three. I already have four adult cats. You may remember. Um, now with the babies, we have seven. Here's a little collage of the mama and the babies as they grew. This one, this one, this one, this one. Look at that hairline. 
I wonder which three you ended up keeping. Oh, mama's so sweet. Little calico mamas. Oh, below are the three we kept. Oh. Oh, it's the one I mentioned. That one looks like Ronaldo. That's why I pointed that one out. Like, that's actually just Ronaldo. Okay, so that's Alfie. It's Ronaldo. Okay. Poppy, Phoebe, and Roy in their new homes. Oh. Below are the three we kept. Spotty is the bravest and wildest. Spotty has, like, a really interesting pattern. She even has a little goatee. Um, but also super sweet. He, sorry, he has a little goatee. Um, but when he gets tired, he'll come and nap on your lap. Luna is very smart and independent. She loves to bite toes. Mm-mm. Luna. No, no, no. <laughs> um, Alfie is the most shy, but so sweet when you sit and spend time with him. He'll follow you around and rub on your legs all day. Thank you for saving them. Oh, look at Luna! Anyway, thanks as always for being awesome and for the amazing content. I hope you enjoy everything, and I'll be lurking around as always from Kelsey. Yeah, it, I love comments like this specifically. I'm like, please comment, please comment, please comment. But like, I'm the lurker. I don't comment on things. If you see me in the comment section of a YouTube video, that's big because I don't do it because it makes me so anxious. So I, I understand completely. Thank you. Okay. This is so smart. So smart. And they're so cute. So we have Stella and Lo Karma. And they, they are probably too small to be throw pillows, yeah, but like they could go my American Girl stuff. I could display them, which is probably what I'm gonna do. I could use them as pin cushions. That's the best thing. You can use this sort of thing as a pin cushion when you're sewing. Although that's kind of mean, right? Like just karma. Anyway. <laughs> And then we have a big old Amaya, cute. And then we have a big crystal. So these were probably the legs, huh? Or maybe it was like, I don't know. I'm trying to rebuild the pajamas. Oh, they were probably um, footy pajamas. I think I've seen these. This was so genius and thank you. This is so fun. Anyway, guys, if you ever want, like, you're sad because the Rainbow High clothing is not your size, but you want the fabric, here you go. This is genius. This is so, so smart. You could even probably make like little bags out of these, like a little hat. That'd probably be kind of difficult. I've never made a hat before. Or I did make a hat and it was great. It's a little bonnet hat for a costume, wore it once because the rest of the costume was awful, but the hat was perfect. Also, Toki Doki tissue paper. I'm actually gonna keep that <laughs> for when I ship things people. Oh, Adora Lots. Dora Lots? What did I just do? what did I combine? Dorables, sorry. Adorables, <laughs> little baby Tiana. Cute. Go sit with Jackie Laura. And then we have Candylicious. I still have not, I think I have a couple of them that I haven't unboxed, but I still haven't done mini verse OMG videos. So this is actually my first one that I've seen in person. So let's see. Oh, cool. oh wow. The paint quality is much higher than I thought it was going to be. Ugh. I hope they continue miniverse. I know MJ is like delaying releases until like the fall, um, but I really hope they do more miniverse stuff. Even like, please go back in time. This is just my like pipe dream here, but go back in time and make miniverse like Novi Stars and stuff. Why not? I actually suggested that to someone directly at MGA, so if it happens, you're welcome. I'm kidding. It would not have been my idea. I'm sure somebody else has come up with that. Um, okay, and then we have Cherry BB. Yeah, so that's the one that I saw in the packaging, and I was like, uh oh, don't look, don't look. Yeah, because I do remember that they did tween ones, and I was really excited, but then I didn't end up buying them. <laughs> Look at her! Does she- what is- what is this animal? I love him. And then we have the little sister, and then Cherry BB. Sorry, the, there's a commercial in the voice. Like, I just love that commercial. Hoops cutie! Cherry BB! I, I wish that was still my Twitter- like, it was my pinned tweet for a while. I need to find it again, actually. It's my favorite thing. Um, cutie cutie thank you so so much kelsey you are so so sweet i am so glad i got to meet your cats and this was not only ex oh there's karma this was not only extremely resourceful and clever but it's also like really really thoughtful and really cool and i really really appreciate it and now i can do this because i have those rainbow high pajamas that are just i can't use them so <laughs> Thank you. No, when I opened the box, I was like, I didn't hear about Rainbow High Pillows. What? And it's because that's me. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. Stella's the star. Sorry. This is my baby. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Like, the doll isn't even my style. I just think her face is so, like, bird looking. I think it's so pretty. Okay. The next one is this one, which I've already cut open because uh, it had a lot of tape on it. So I was like, that's going to be rough. 
Uh, so let's see. Okay, so something wrapped. Oh, good. Because I had to open it from the bottom. Um, okay, so we have... Let me make sure. Okay. It says two X Canadenses from Spain. Ooh, okay. Cute. This card's really cute. Okay. Dear X Canadenses, my name is Customizing underscore Dolls. I assume that's an Instagram? Yeah, it does say Instagram. Um, so I will uh, put that in the description. It says you can find me on Instagram or in your Instagram's followers list. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, <laughs> since moving or since many years, I um, have been customizing dolls here in Spain with a partial fortune because here this art doesn't aren't considered. Um, recently, I see in your something videos you started to buy. Oh, your latest videos. Um, latest videos you started. I love your handwriting, by the way. The the L was like really pretty. I just figured out because um, I draw L's like that too, but. Anyway, um, you started to buy some Barbie, so I have one to send to you from one of my custom Barbie creations. This box is even handmade. Oh, cool. Um, so it isn't perfect. It, I'm sure it is. I decided that she needs a new home and with a new owner who can enjoy her as I do in these past years. And you are the most doll enthusiast I ever see. I hope you like it. Best regards from Valencia, Spain. P.S. I beg you to send me mail to confirm that the package arrived well. Okay, I got you. I will keep this aside so I can make sure to do that. Thank you so much, customizing dolls. Okay, so I'm very curious now. So Ooh. excited. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. Is that a bad idea? Okay, I don't wanna hurt the box though, so let's see. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. So you guys get to see it. Is it upside down, you think? I don't know which oh this is like a cool box i feel glitter and i feel a plastic window okay hopefully okay here's the other oh she was upside down whoa hold on okay so do i pull this i think i is it like made of foam this is so cool okay i'm sorry if i'm opening her wrong by the way whoa the custom stamp down and be careful okay there's a certificate of authenticity 2018 poison ivy doll barbie repaint collection certificate of authenticity this doll was repainted by designer cats custom dolls this is so sweet okay um let's see her oh her face is beautiful oh my god did you sculpt this outfit Okay, I think the outfit is some kind of little charms that have been like expertly like applied. Also, the way you made the stand is really smart. This is something from packaging. She is so cool. Look at her. Thank you. And she's from Spain. I love the way you did the stand. This oh oh no. Oh, I'm sorry. Speaking of which, I don't know how poison ivy is because I don't think I've ever had it, but I think I got it. Like it's been bugging me. It's actually been like three or four weeks since I got it. Maybe just three weeks. Um, I won't go away. I don't know what to do. My mom suggested poison ivy, which I was gardening three weeks ago. So, but anyway, it's, it's spreading. I think, I don't know what to do. Um, please, please help. Is that what that is? Do, do you know? Sorry. She reminded me of that. Hopefully it doesn't scar. Cause it's like really not cute. And it's on my leg too. Um, anyway, this is so cool. Thank you so much for sharing her with me. And since she was made in 2018, I'm really excited to check out your Instagram and see like what your recent customs are like. Her face is like really gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And you are so thoughtful to send me one of your custom dolls, especially one that you've had for a while. That is so, so sweet. And I'm so excited to get her on display. She is so cool. And you know, my favorite color is green. And I love her hair too. I wonder what the original doll was. Really pretty. Oh, the hair blend. Did you reroot her, actually? I was thinking because her hair looked so, like, unique and interesting. Because she has, like, green streaks. But maybe you colored those in? Or it's, like, a partial reroot? I have no idea. I am very curious. This is a beautiful doll. But don't don't share your custom secrets if you don't want to. This is a beautiful, beautiful custom. This is so cool. I love the way you did the outfit specifically. It's so, so cool. So, so cool. Okay. Can you see her? Yeah. Thank you so much. That was, and I love the box. I think, I'm not sure if I'll display her in the box because 
I, I really like the box. It's actually really cool. I might use it as like a riser because it's so sparkly and fun. And then if I want to put it back in the box, I can. Um, that is so much fun to make boxes for the customs that you're making too. Like that is so sweet. Thank you so much. That is so, so cool. And I'm so excited to meet her from Spain. And she's got her little certificate. She's like, <laughs> so hello from Spain. So cute. I love the certificate. That is so much fun and she's beautiful. Thank you so, so much. It's like with with artwork specifically, like drawings and stuff, I'm always like so flattered. It's so, so sweet and thoughtful because it's like artwork is such a like big extension of like yourself and like the many, many years of your life that you had to devote to gaining that skill. So it always like is really, really special. It means a lot to me. So thank you so, so much. Especially one from like your you're like archive it's really interesting thank you <laughs> okay next i have like two more little bubble mailers so we have this one i can't really show you <laughs> um and i i actually know that this one is something from my friend lost in the fifth corner because she was asking me to double check like did you receive this so um i know this one is from her but i do not know what is inside um but she basically she had sent it from like ebay so she was like did you get this um anyway so here it is and let's see what's inside so we have oh 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 my god hello they're mini brands little pet shop mini brands i'm pretty sure i was complaining in a video about like oh my gosh if i don't pull these little pet shop mini brands i'm gonna be so sad and you sent them to me we have the sloth and the monkey thank you oh i don't i don't remember if i should say your first name thank you lost in the fifth quarter I feel like your use, you, YouTube username is first name and then that, right? I don't know. I'm not going to do it. Uh, but thank you. <gasps> I love my name on those pet shops. Sorry, I, I super wanted these, but I was like, if I buy a bunch of these mini brands and don't get them, but I didn't even, it didn't even occur to me that I could have bought them separately. Like, I, I didn't even think about it. Thank you. That is so exciting. And then in here we have some, oh God, what were these? From. these were like the fast food i don't remember let me see um story time i've never been to tgi fridays should i let me know i don't remember what these were from i feel kind of silly right now for not knowing um but this is really cute little fast food ones i remember there was a fast food like mini brand but these don't feel like mini brands but maybe they are um and then i also have a little strawberry syrup which is very very cute Thank you so, so much, Lost in the Fifth Corner. I really appreciate it. I've been dying to know what was in there ever since you texted me about it. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, with all of these boxes, I've been sitting there like, I want to know what's in there. But it's hard for me to explain, but I want to be, like, in a specific, like, first of all, I need, like, a huge block of time, but, which normally I can figure that out. But um, rendering these videos is also, like, really difficult. But specifically, um, I want to make sure I'm in the right, like, energy, because if I'm having, like, a bad day, of course this will make me feel better, but I don't want to be, like, come off, like, really, like, blah on camera or whatever, so I have to make sure it's, like, a good day. So, like, today, I, I don't know, felt right. It felt right. I never want to have to force myself to make a video, especially one like this, because these ones are specifically very special. So I'm extremely sorry to everyone in this video that you had to wait a little while to see your packages unboxed. I hope it's okay. Um, I feel really bad. I need to work on um, making sure that I can get them out in a more timely fashion. Um, I did pretty good about that for a while, but I feel like I really dropped the ball right now. Um, but I just want to make... I, I, it's hard to explain, but if I force myself to make videos, which I have in the past sometimes, um, I, I really... I feel really bad about it. And I've never done it with a P.O. Box video, thankfully. Um... Uh, but, you know, I just want to make sure that I'm really in the right headspace because I can probably figure it out for like a 20 minute review just to knock it out if I don't feel like it. Um, it can still turn out fine. But with a video like this, it's act it's extremely important to me that I'm good. I don't. Anyway, um, we have our last package. Um, so after this package, this should be all the ones that had come. If something didn't get in here, let me know because it might have just ended up in another part of my house. But because um, I keep them in a specific spot, but perhaps it got separated. Um, but I did just get a set of five packages from one person, I think, um, that arrived yesterday, but I will start that in the next PO box video, which should be relatively soon. So don't worry. Um, it won't be too long. I, I promise I will make the best effort to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, but this last package is this bubble mailer. Um, and yeah, let's see what's inside. So there's a monster high sticker on the front. I wish I could show it to you. Um, so 
thought I could rip it, but I thought wrong. And I really want to take a little nap on my rainbow high pillows. So I guess I could, maybe. Oh, that's what they could be good for, actually. This one specifically would be like a great car pillow. <laughs> um, like a road trip type pillow, because I don't own any of those like travel pillows. Although I probably should. Oh, there's a Monster High sticker. You can see it. <laughs> okay, so I see a doll, but I also see a note. Okay, this, hi Brooke. I found this doll at an antique store and I knew she looked familiar, but I didn't get her. Anyway, I kept thinking about her and I ended up going back for her. I don't collect dolls like this, so I think she'll be much happier in your collection. I know she's pretty hard to find. So you can hopefully rest now. What? Okay, thank you for everything you do. I love watching your videos. Love, Sarah. Yes, you can say my name from Sweet Screams on Twitter. Okay, I know who you are. Um, and give Lego a pet for me. Where is my beautiful daughter? I think when Brett left earlier, he closed the door, which is fine because Ronaldo likes to come in here and knock over the camera. He does that all the time. Anytime I sit down to film, like in Japan Hall especially, he comes right in here and knocks over the camera. Okay. Our package okay i'm intrigued i guess i should close my eyes then because you said i can rest okay let's see what do we got <laughs> i probably just like impossible mode challenge trying to guess what doll it is she's small the body is very different and the head doesn't tell i have no idea okay hair is extremely did you fix the hair you said antique store. Maybe the hair just came like that. This is super soft. This feels like almost fabric softener treatment, maybe. Okay. I'm going to open my eyes. What? <laughs> huh? Oh. Goodbye. I can't. <laughs> huh? Ah! Oh, the monster eye sticker fell off. I think I thought that would be cute. Okay. Her hair is so soft. Did you fix her hair? What? <laughs> and I just got the Ariel and her sisters too. Like my two. So if you don't know who this is, this is Melody from the Little Mermaid 2 movie. Uh, and it's like a direct to VHS. And this doll is extremely obscure. The only reason anybody really knows who, what it is is because this is one of i think two dolls of this character that were ever made what the only like true fashion doll i think there's like a smaller one that's a little different right or is that a fashion doll i don't remember i just recently learned that one existed actually this is so funny because wait i think i remember this twitter post when you found her because it was right after my friend had posted about buying theirs and then you were like hey i think i found that doll you bought her for me God, the body feels so different. I'm pretty sure this doll is made by Jax, or... right? Sorry, my throat did a thing. I think this is a Jax doll. I don't know. Um, but she feels very interesting. Okay, this is really wild, actually. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna look so cute on display with all of her friends. Oh my god, I love her little dress. I can't believe this. Thank you so much. <laughs> she's such a little baby i can't believe she was still waiting there for you when you went back oh my gosh um i'm creepy but i'm pretty sure i know where you live and i'm dying to know what antique store this was because i'm just curious um she is so cool and if you fixed her hair by the way thank you because i'm pretty sure she's probably probably and i would not have known how to approach this <laughs> sorry i i don't even know how to react like what she's so cool She's really cute. I remember online thinking like her face was a bit weird, but in person, like she looks like really cute in the face. Not that she was ugly online, but I always thought that it was kind of a strange face sculpt. But in person, I it makes sense. It's very, it looks very much like Ariel, which makes sense. It's like, I wonder if it is a reused Ariel sculpt. I'll have to look into that. Because, yeah, it, she's really cute. She's really cute. She's really cute. I think the reason, because she's a lot smaller than I thought she was, actually. It's very interesting that she's so small. I feel like I'm I'm exposing myself for the Lowe's pants. Do you like my Lowe's pants? Um, I, um, I think I see her rebodied a lot. Like, I think I have multiple people that I'm following that have her rebodied or something, because I was not expecting her to be this small, but she's, like, really cute. And the head totally matches the proportion of the neck and everything, which, um, huh. She's really, really cool. I'm going to have to take some good pictures of her, because I feel like she has been... I feel like a lot of people regard her as a very ugly doll, but I think she's actually really beautiful. Oh my gosh. 
Well, Sarah, <laughs> thank you. Um, Lego will be interacting with Melody. Um, Lego will get to cuddle with her. I'll have to post a picture of her on Twitter with Lego because that'd be really cute. Um, <laughs> thank you so, so much. This is so, so sweet. And I just, I can't believe you went back to get her for me. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited. I'm sorry. She's just so cool. I have like a really killer Little Mermaid display now. Like I've got the Ariel and her sister set, which was my ultimate holy grail. And my mom got that for me. And they're all so special and sweet. Because my mom also helped me buy, because I could only get one between the Vanessa and the Little Mermaid, like dolls that the the limited editions that had come out that year. My mom bought me the Vanessa. Or I guess you could say my mom bought me the Ariel. You, you decide. I don't know. <laughs> um, it was Vanessa though, because I was going to skip Vanessa. And my mom was like, no, you're not. Uh, which, thank you, mom. Thank you. Because, oh my god, I would have regretted it, sincerely. <laughs> um, oh, look! She has, like, this part of her hair, like, printed on. That is a really... I didn't even notice. It actually blended in really nicely. It's even sculpted. This is such an interesting doll. Sorry, I'm just fascinated. I've never seen this doll in person before. And I don't really look at her extended in pictures, because she's one of those ones where I was like, I'm never going to find that doll. Like, I wouldn't have even considered her a grail, because it was like, that's not realistic, you know? Most of my grails are something that I'm like, I know I can find that. It's just going to be tough, and it's going to be expensive. But this one, I was like, mm, not happening. So, <laughs> sorry, I don't even know how to process this. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you, Sarah. This is really, really special. And you are so, so sweet for going back to pick her up for me. That was... I remember you saying on Twitter that you had gone back for her, but I didn't, I didn't think you would go back to get her for me. That is, wow. <laughs> thank you so, so much. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I know you guys uh, like the PO Box videos. Of course I love them. Um, but I just really love being able to read letters and connect with you guys. Like, I feel like it's so special and it means a whole lot to me. Um, I love seeing comments and likes and things like that. Those are also just like, or just things that are like, people are watching my videos. Like, it just feels special. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's like when you go to a little awards ceremony in middle school and you get your little award, which I got the caught red handed award, which sounds bad, but it means you got caught doing a good deed. And I'm so proud of myself because I was really bummed that I never got an award. And then I got that award and I was like, oh, that was actually a hard one to get because somebody like dropped their lunch in front of me and I picked it up. And I guess that was like, whoa, a really good deed, which I don't know. <laughs> I don't really think that's that big of a deal. But anyway, <laughs> um, thank you. And then I got outstanding student of the year, my junior year of high school and class clown two years in a row. So the only two years we did it. <laughs> Those are my awards. My credentials those are on my cv to this day by the way the ones in high school because i thought they were pretty special it made me feel really special <laughs> um but get, i don't know getting recognition is like really cool it makes you feel really special i don't know um but anyway thank you guys so so much you always make me feel so special and loved and i'm really grateful i always say this but like doll collecting is this really like innately very um <laughs> it's this innately very like isolating hobby I guess but um social media and online spaces have really helped me throughout my journey as a doll collector and being able to have this platform like I've, I've made videos the whole time no matter how many followers I had because I just like doing it um and it was hard though when I couldn't get comments anymore because I really like getting comments it makes me really I don't know I like reading them um even though I can't respond to as many anymore like I used to um which sucks I really wish I could um but I don't know it's it's just so much fun um it's just so special. <laughs> uh, but at one point I couldn't get comments anymore because YouTube was like going to shut down my channel for me being under 13 when I was 21 years old. Um, but like, it's just, it makes, uh, it makes my life very full. It makes me really happy. It's really cool to be able to do this partially as like a job. It's just really, really cool to be able to do this and be able to go like on fun trips and meet people and get to talk to different people online and stuff. It's just really, really special. And I love it so much. And I, really really appreciate it and thank you <laughs> and thank you guys so so much for watching um these videos again are just they make they're just really really special they make me really happy and um having like personal mementos from you guys's collections or things that you specifically picked up for me is just so like i don't i don't know how to describe it because it's it's really really beautiful like it makes me really happy because my doll collection, as much as it's like, look at all these cool rare dolls that I've gathered over the time that I've been collecting them. But like, um, I, I just love the little memories attached, you know, like I remember specifically getting that one at Kid to Kid and this one I got on um, Mercari. Oh my gosh, she's so cool. And I had to fix her dress a little bit because it was fraying. See, 
I had to like burn the edges, which I was so proud of. I'd never done that before. Um, it just, I don't know. It makes me really happy and I really appreciate it. Um, and I, I like my doll collection as a collection of cool objects, but also cool memories attached to them. So um, this is like, I'm farming more dolls that have cool memories attached to them. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys are so, so sweet and I appreciate it so much. And I don't want to go on too long because I could talk about it forever, but thank you. <laughs> um, thank you guys so, so much for 55,000 subscribers. It's 55,000 subscriber video. I'm kidding. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, what's, what's going on with you? Have you had any cool doll finds lately? I'd love to hear it. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I guess I'll end it for real this time. <laughs> Bye. Hi friends, welcome to dollike.net, which is an interactive doll database website that myself and a team of people have been working on. I founded the website. This is something that I've really wanted to have happen for a long time and seems like there's a lot of other people who saw the need for this too. And there's a bunch of people on this team who believe in me and have been helping me out. So just know that when you see this, I did not do all of it. Uh, I'm just funding it and founded it, so. Um, yeah, we're always accepting new people. If you're interested in helping out or have questions or something, you can go in the comments or email me on my business email. You can see it in my channel description. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek and we're pretty, we're getting pretty close to site launch. So, um, I thought I would show you what it looks like now. And, um, if you're, by the way, I'm going to be a little, um, do some advertising here. If you're, um, knowledgeable on WordPress or PHP and stuff like that at all, uh, we could use you. Um, the biggest PHP issue has already been fixed, but there's a couple of things that I wish looked different or worked a little bit differently. So, um, if you think you would know how to help, let me know. Um, we have a discord, so I just add you to the discord and then we go from there. Um, but you can help with whatever you want. Like we have a graphics team. There's people who exclusively work on the database. Um, if you want to be the one who like types up the rules and stuff, cause I don't know how to do that or the people who run the forum and stuff, feel free to contact me. Anybody who wants to work on the website and has an idea is welcome because um, I don't want this to be my website where I'm just like, this is Delect, I made this, this is mine. Um, it's supposed to be community-based, like the, entirely everything, all the decisions are made by the community and all the features are decided on by the community. Anyway, um, so this is the homepage. And by the way, if you want a doll, if you're like asking like, oh, is this doll brand going to be added? The answer is yes. Every single doll brand ever, every single information about dolls ever and doll adjacent things, I would love to see on this website. Obviously that's not realistic, but yeah, all of it's welcome. This is supposed to be a place, a holistic place to get any information about a doll line that exists in this world. So obviously it's gonna be a lot of work. Right now we have, I think, 3,000 dolls listed in the database, which is really, really mind blowing considering. <laughs> um, uh, like how small the team is. I mean, it's a decently large team, but the people working on the database, it's a pretty small team. I think it's 20-ish. Um, anyway, um, you can see some, the homepage, I don't really like this. I think I need to move this down, but the homepage, the purpose is to show off different site features. So doll of the day is showing off the database. So sunset is an item in the database, see? Um, so that brings you to the database section, which we'll get to. Featured image, uh, when I made this, the image submissions weren't working so I just put a random one but image submissions are working now so this will look more like this um but yeah so there's a feature where you can upload your own pictures of your dolls um this is the featured blog so you can make blog posts about your dolls this is just me testing so there's nothing interesting going on but in theory we would feature an interesting blog of some sort and then also these are the newest database entries that have been added so like for example this doll just got added I just got this doll so I can add her to my collection which I already did but you can add her to your collection and um Peggy made this Peggy was working on this today I think because there's a bunch of new pretty cure stuff in here which is awesome so like I have cure star too let's add her to my my dog collection. I have that one, but you can see that any information that we have so far, I mean, this will get fleshed out over time, obviously. Right now, the goal is to get things into the database and then later you can add more things easily. Um, but yes, so every single feature that I would require for launch is here, which is really exciting. So we just need to refine them and make them like look and work better and then it'll be ready. The only feature that's not here yet, which isn't going to come until much later, is um, doll clothing identification so like if you had a pink doll shirt you could click through a list and say it's a doll shirt for a one six scale doll it's pink it has short sleeves um it has stripes and then in theory you could um identify the doll shirt uh, but obviously that's going to be a like oh my god that's gonna be a task <laughs> anyway so let's get started so this is the database this is the like purpose of the website, but there's a lot of social features too that hopefully will get used a lot. So you have your main area and you have your sidebar. So the sidebar will show you the dolls that have been most popular this month. So the most people have clicked 
to add them to their wish list or their collections. And then also the collection categories that you already have. More things can go here. This is supposed to be something, but it's not working. And then you can also search here. So yeah. And then here, um, this is a mess. I'm working on this. This is, this is all me that is causing the problems here. Um, but yeah, so there's different ways you can search. So there's also a little arrow down here so you can go back to the top. Uh, you can search by doll line, which is the main one that we're doing. The search by company. So the company maker. So I'll show you. I think they're working on the Mattel one right now. Yeah, so they added a bunch of doll lines that Mattel has worked on here. I don't cool. remember if they've done Simba. Okay, yeah, me and me is there. Um, but yeah, so just different ways that you can search for dolls. Because if you're trying to identify a doll, the idea is that you can read the company make and find it here. Or just going through here, you can see the doll's face and kind of get a feel for which doll you have. But anyway, let's take a look. I just did the Pinky Cooper page, so let's take a look. So this is the main landing page. This is where all of the main information is. And then um, you can see a lot of notes on here because I'm still working on this one. Um, and the red links mean that I haven't made the page yet. But Pinky and London, I made her page. And then it, information that's exclusive to her uh, will be here. Um, and you can add her to your collection or your wish list. And then I'll show you what this does later. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so it's Pinky Cooper. I'm still working on Pinky Cooper. Uh, and then unreleased stuff, so all of that information's in one place. And then the, like, official imagery. I just think that one is absolutely hysterical. Like, why is she not wearing shoes also? Um, yeah. And then this is if you upload a blog or a, an image of a Pinky Cooper doll, it will populate here as long as you tag it correctly. Haven't put videos yet, but, like, reviews or, like, collection videos can go here. And then official videos will go here. I'll show you the BFF page, which is actually finished. Yeah. Um... It, the BFF page I'm very proud of. Although I still haven't put Sydney and Connie on there yet, so you should believe me about it. But anyway, here's the BFF page. So as you can see, you can jump to different things. So I'll jump to images because, oh, well, oh, user. So images, there's official and there's user upload. So you can see, this is a test post. That's why it's just a stock photo, but you can see that I've uploaded an image. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, and then this would, in theory, show you different pages that have them. Um, I really wish I knew how WordPress worked, because if you clicked here and it would also show you, or just take you to the database page, that would be great, but I don't want to do that. Um, so yeah, we're still working on stuff. And then official image gallery, so all of these in their official, like, original file size. Pretty cool. The reason that first one was so small, by the way, is because it's from an Amazon, like, itty-bitty little thing. Um, yeah, and then videos, so official commercials. This is not exhaustive yet. Um, and then this is different reviews of the dolls. So I just put um, my friend's reviews here so far. So mine, Angel's, and Mickey's here. Um, and then, okay, so that's the database. There's a lot. And I love the database too, because although each item page will be pretty much the same. Um, oh, I'll show you a BFF one though, because some of them have way more information on them than, than others. So like Crystal, for example, um, these are the Amazon banners and also screenshots of Amazon, because that's going to be a cool thing to have in 20 years, right? Um, and this one's on my wish list because I don't have her yet, so I had her in my wish list, and also I can make a custom list, BFF dolls, and you can see, I don't think they have 13 points. I think I thought they had photo articulation. I need to verify why I put 13. I'm pretty sure it's 11. Um, but yeah, so different information that I think is relevant. You can go to the company page. This is under construction, but um, that would show other dolls made by IMC. Um, this would be, it's supposed to be a thing that tells you how to care for nylon, but obviously I haven't done that yet. Um, and then this is the image gallery. That is not updated yet. There's a better version of the image gallery that I need to update every page to, which is going to be a task. I think these ones have it though. Maybe not. No, they don't. That's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty cute. And then these are upcoming ones. Cool. Okay. Now, but also it's really cool because that's the format that I go with, but there's other formats. So anybody can use whatever format they want, depending on their doll line, it will work differently, right? So I love the American Girl one. The, look at this. This was not me. But if you click these, it takes you to the character. I just thought that was really, really creative and cute. But yeah, anybody can do whatever they want if they're doing that just as long as they follow certain guidelines like there's certain things that need to be on the pages um anyway so then your collection this is the main function of the site um is that you can add your dolls to your collection so this is my collection so she's on here because i pre-ordered her by the way um any that look like this mean that i haven't added the picture yet it's usually me um this one actually wasn't me but the winks ones at the bottom these were on me i need to add the pictures um but anyway so if you click on these it actually takes you to the page which is pretty cool, I think. Um, yeah, you can see Anonymous made this page. I really like the way Anonymous um, puts the form pages together. But yeah, all you need is you need the name of the doll, the 
um, stock image and then you can put the like info box and then that's like the required information and then you can customize things from there so like here's auntie patricia did so much like all of disney ever um but yeah pretty cool and then you can also do whatever which like list you want so your wish list and these are custom right you can enter whatever you want so i can i'll go to a database page so i'll go to victoria um i can new category oops sorry you couldn't see that um go back new category dolls i or like I could say like dolls I'm gifting, you know, I'm like gathering or like, yeah, gifts. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> gifts for, I don't know, Brett, let's say. And then I can make it private so nobody else can see it but me. And then this is my own little personal gift list that I've created. Um, so you can do all sorts of stuff like that. Pretty cool. And then we have... This is so people can submit their own database entries so that you don't have to have like full backend site ac access to submit one. I'm really glad that this works. It's not 100% working. Again, if somebody knows WordPress or something, <laughs> please help. Um, but yeah, because it kind of sucks that people have to copy all of this in order to make it work, but it's fine. Um, and then join the team. This is like, I don't know. This is like if you want to be like a in the beta team, basically. Um, and then, but it'll have a tutorial for how to make different pages. So you can see I've put like example pages that I think are really nice. Well, I shouldn't have shown mine when I said that, but this was not made by me. This was, um, I didn't do this, but I kind of formatted this originally. I think, um, that's made by me. I don't know, but, um, I'm just trying to show like, these are really nice looking banners that people made. Um, the only one I'm actually proud of is here. Um, yeah. And then... There's a lot of, as you can see, there's like question marks and things everywhere because I'm still working on stuff. We're getting there though. And then this is really fun. I'm, I like this. I'm glad I thought of this. There's like, you can click, oh, she's not in my collection yet. I have this doll. Oh, by the way, your collection is sorted alphabetically. I should have said that. So that's what, that's how things are grouping together. So you can see all the rainbow high dolls are going together because they are alphabetical. Um, but yeah, that's random. So you can click random and then see random dolls. So once there's more dolls in the database, especially like right now, you're going to see like mostly Disney and Monster High and stuff because those are the ones that most dolls in there are um but it'll be really exciting to be able to like what that one's so cute i've never heard of that doll um yeah so you'll be able to have that reaction to different things <laughs> um yeah pretty cool and then like look at this different rainbow high sculpts which you guys know i am absolutely awful at identifying and the rainbow high team astrophengia leading um at least with this page has put all that together so it's super super cool and you can see like poppy has the original face sculpt so she's on there i don't know awesome 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 and then um articles and blogs this is a giant mess but um you can post your own little blogs and things so kind of similar to the way a forum would run except it's like visual i don't know uh so if you post an article so in theory this would be an article i think the idea behind this one was like look this one's different from the final release look at these two different Look at the prototype versus that. Um, obviously, these are really bad because I'm just testing stuff. Uh, but yeah, so this would be like brags. So I think this is broken right now. But um, it would show when you're bragging, like, look at this cool new doll I got. Um, user blog. So like, you're just posting something about your doll collection. These are reviews. Um, doll news. Yeah, so stuff like that. Um, all of these blog posts will probably be gone except the ones that I didn't post. Because the ones that I posted are all a disaster except this one. So um this was an actual attempt to show like what a blog post could look like um but this is an image post so this is different so that would be up in the running for image of the day in theory except i'm not putting my own um unless nobody else submits i guess um but yeah that's images and oh sorry that was blogs my bad so these used to be combined with images but they're not anymore um and then you can post your own here and you can upload your own images pretty cool um and then the category is how you get so if i put you know blogs it will manifest in the blog category here so that's so like articles you can say like how i fix claudine's polypropylene hair or how i find dolls on yahoo japan auctions that would be articles so yeah anyway that will evolve as people post more and i see what's needed and what is liked that's why we need um eventually we'll have the site soft launch for testing and then images is exactly the same thing so i haven't sorted it yet but you put your little images and this is actually really cool because images, you tag them with the different doll, right? So this is Costume Ball Eliza, and this isn't working right now. I want it to be, if you click on this, it takes you to Eliza's page, but that's not how it works right now. But anyway, so if we go to Eliza's page, which, um, look, there she is. 
it will take you and show you the page. And then my image that I made shows up right here. Isn't that nice? Um, so people can see it. Fun. Uh, the reason this is ugly is because I put that there without putting the title and stuff because this is somebody else's page. This is Auntie Patricia's page. Yeah, sorry. Uh, but cute, right? And look, there's the sculpt. Super cool. Anyway. So that's how images work. Um, I thought it would be really cool because it would encourage more doll photography and also just sometimes the stock photos don't really tell you a whole lot about a doll, how a doll actually looks. Um, so it would be really cool to be able to see other people's and like how they restyle them and how they did their hair and stuff. I don't know. And then the social section is a huge work in progress because ultimately I have no idea what I'm doing in this section until people are actually using the social stuff. Um, this supposed to be a sidebar here. I can't get it to show up for some reason. Um, but you can see different users of the site. So like if you go to my page, I've worked on my profile a little bit. I don't know why this is like this. I need to fix that. Um, but I have my little profile picture. For some reason it does that pulse, which I like. Um, and I can verify people if like, you're a YouTuber or something, or if you just want to verify, like, yes, I'm the person that uses this username on other social media, that's what that is. Um, it's also just a click of a button. But anyway, we've got a little banner, different things like stats. And then this is, I wish that this would consider wiki pages, like there could be one that says I've made this many wiki pages, but it's fine. And then this is all HTML that I program or like I made years ago, like when I was 10. Um, <laughs> but I put it here. So you can put your own custom HTML. This isn't perfect. I wish you could do more, like if you could put your own little backgrounds and stuff, but uh, I don't know how to do that. Um, and then your collection shows up here too. It's in recency order. So this is the oldest thing I added to my collection. So like the first database entry I ever made. And then this is the newest thing I added to my collection. So um, when this site has like every doll ever and people can just add them as they get them, that might be fun to have, but I'm probably going to put this alphabetical too so that they're in any kind of order. But anyway, look, I can see my private, which other people, by the way, would not be able to see my private ones. Um, you can see my Rainbow High collection. You can see my favorites. Yeah. Um, and then you have your own little image gallery. I've got my friends list. You can customize this profile quite a bit. And then activity is like what I've been up to. So I joined a group earlier. Doll hairs are, I'm working on that. That's supposed to be like an on-site currency for earning like... I want you to be able to buy little things to put on your profile. It's not real money. It would just be you earn them by posting and stuff. So you can see that I updated my activity with this, my favorite hideous picture of Lego. So I earned doll hairs. Um, yeah. Um, then posts. These are my posts. Comments. These are comments I've left. So you can see that I put nice picture dork on my own picture of Addy. <laughs> um, and then some other stuff. So badges are like you would earn stuff. But as you can see, it's not working. I don't know how to make that work. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, you see, it, it does work to give you the doll hairs, but it doesn't actually, like, gather them. Like, I don't know what's wrong with that, but that's not y'all's problem. It's fine. Okay, and then there's a forum. I don't really know how to set up forums. Like, I don't even know where to begin with that, so I'm leaving it alone for now. This one is for, like, doll of the day nominations and stuff. That's the only one I've actually set up so far, but that could be fun if people use it. And then user groups. You can make your own little, like, subset community. So this is one that I made to test out, and then we have a Barbie one, and then a Monster High one. Nick's made this one, and then... Who made G3 fan club? I don't know how to know. Oh, Anonymous made it. Yeah, the, that, that checks out. But yeah, so you can, if you post things here, they only show up here, which is pretty cool. Um, so you basically have your own little sub community, which in theory, if a lot of people end up using the site and end up using the social features, this would be very useful. And then um, the feed shows like everything. Um, so different people printing their profile pictures, people getting their doll hairs, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah. That is Dalect as of now. Obviously, a lot of work still needs to be done, but we're getting really close to soft launching the website. Um, and it's always it's always going to be 100% free to use. I, that's very important to me that this is a resource um, that is uh, totally free to access and use and enjoy uh, because I think it's sorely needed and I think it'll be really awesome. So it's like partially funded by my YouTube channel, I guess. I've, I've put a lot of money into this so far, but hopefully... Um, <laughs> I don't have to put as much in when I'm not having to buy like programming to put in because you have to um, buy different things to like make certain things work on your website um, that like programmers have created. Um, but hopefully eventually I don't have to keep doing that because uh, I've kind of put a lot of money into this so far, but I really believe in this and I think it's going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video for real for real this time. Uh, if you're interested in helping out or need more information or something, just email me at my business email. You can try Instagram and t Twitter, but I'm way less likely to answer because I get so many DMs on there and I don't even see them half the time just because I, they, it makes me anxious that I, I would be really sad if I missed one and I answered every other one and then it's like, I didn't mean that, but you know, um, 
But yeah, that is it for this video. For real this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye.